talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal, only on Styles FM. Good night, good night, my listeners. I know what you have turned on right now. You have Styles FM turned on. And I know what keeps you turned on. Real talk, right? Daddy Root. Right, Daddy Root. <laughs> Daddy Root look hungry. No, you're not hungry. I heard you with plate earlier. So you're not hungry. You're just probably something else. It's, you made a general statement, and I, and I, and I can't respond <laughs> to a general statement like that <laughs> we hear him early people right that's a good one well good to have you all on board tonight and if you're not yet in the mood get in the mood because you have your perfectly normal lady clear tonight on and our totally crazy daddy rude hosting real talk for you tonight and our engineering studio or resident engineer tonight is cassidy the silent assassin of course you just heard from the schizophrenic one earlier right so we take you into real talk of course the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal good morning good afternoon to all our folks out there in night. the world and good night and good i said good night earlier no, you said good morning my first thing was good night good night good night to all <laughs> right so good afternoon and good morning to other people who are at other time zones ar around the world, you know, the different time zones and so on, gives you different hours ahead or behind time. So good, good, good everything to you. Buenos dias, um, bon nuit, bonsoir. Yes, good afternoon. Whichever one you use and the other languages out there. I have one. Which make you talk. <laughs> I, I have one. You have what? I have one language. Which, which is that, Japanese? Well, I'll, do you tell me? Say it. Bonar. Bonar. That's why I care about one girl. I don't know language that. No, sir. Uh -uh. No language no go so. I'm not convinced. Anybody out there who knows which language that is Bonar, Bon Bonar, come from, please do let me <laughs> share on the text line for me. You're here because, ladies, we don't sound very impressed at all. It not sound impressive. Mm -mm. Bonar. When I say Bon him? Um, if that's a language, it, 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 just, it, just, it just doesn't sound. Uh, well, the lady one was worse. No, you you said what? Bonzi. Oh, it's Bonnui in French. Bon Français. Right, right. Bonnui. Yeah. Bonsoir is good evening. Right, and Bonar. No, Bonar is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bon no girl, Ronnie. All right. So, <laughs> to all you wonderful listeners, all our WhatsApp people tonight, we want to say kudos and big ups to you right now. You know, we love you all because you're large like that. And of course, you look forward to Real Talk on Styles FM every Friday night. Yep. So, let me give you those. Numbers to hook us up, and of course, shout outs to our peeps on the social media platform. Let me go to the social media peeps first because you don't know people out there watching right now via uh, Facebook. Yeah, the live feed is on now on Facebook. Hi, y'all out there in Facebook land. Yes, you can go to Styles FM 96.1, check out the fan page on Facebook, and see the live show. Feel free to comment, all right, on what you like, you don't like, what you're in between, <laughs> all right? And, of course, our friends on Twitter, check us out at StylesFM961. And for Instagram, you can follow us at StylesFM. And, of course, if you want to see previous shows, and, of course, tonight's show will also be posted on YouTube, you can go to Styles FM Radio. And if you have not yet downloaded that app, oh yes, you need to download the app. It's Styles FM Radio. One of them is Styles FM Radio. The other is Styles FM Jamaica. All right? And you can always have it with you wherever you go. You can play your radio, your styles. All right? And let me say the numbers now to call us locally or text us locally. Or to WhatsApp, message us alone. No calls on the WhatsApp for this number, all right, guys? We are unable to facilitate the calls. Just the text messages via WhatsApp. 
and so on. All right, so that local number is, of course, you know, 876 before it, and then 4531444. That's 453, 876 rather, 4531 and 34s behind that one. All right? And put that one in your phone too and keep it there, right? Styles FM. And the international number, if you're in foreign land and you wish to call in, that number is 954 Is that, oh, that slipped me. I always know that one. 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And the on-the-go number is Daddy Rude in his shade of must it green? Mm -hmm. Tell us those USA, UK, and um, Canada on the go numbers. Uh, for the USA, it is 712 832 2772. That's 712 832 2772. For the United Kingdom, it is 033 0010 3322. That's 033 0010 3322. And in Canada, it is 647-957-9637. That's 647-957-9637. All righty. And, of course, let me just give a shout-out. Or let me, not, let me say to my friends and our listeners as well who are over there in the Carolinas, we know that uh, you are experiencing some, you know, inclement weather and so on a lot of rain and all i want to ask you guys please 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 keep safe all right evacuate if needs be if the warning comes to do so then you ought to heed those warnings all right but in the meantime keep yourselves dry stay as safe as you can and close to your loved ones and um pray and keep the faith and all will be well all right and to yep. my immediate friends who are there who i spoke to what well, yes today it was yeah or yeah they're about um whole whole strong you know um i don't think they've experienced a hurricane in the states they always they would have experienced them here okay i don't know how much different things will be but just be very very safe all right um <clears throat> sorry just also want to say condolence to my so friend. let me ask a question why you use whole strong and not whole tight same difference. <clears throat> okay. Hold strong. Hold the fort. Or, or hold tight. Hold tight. Yes. <laughs> um, condolence to my dear friend. Like She's like a sister to me. Diane Valentine over there in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, she is going through a really rough time right now. Also, her friend, a very close friend from Connecticut, um, who have they've lost a son and like a godson and um tragically a drunk driver hitting him down and um he of course succumbed to those injuries um i just want to say to diane and her friend and the family at large please keep strong i know it's difficult times it's hard to lose a child that way he's just 20 years old a bright yep. future ahead of him. So on behalf of our family right here, Diane, I know you're an avid listener to the station, you and your kids. And of course, we express deepest, deepest condolences, condolences um, from, to you from the Styles family, all right? Um, I hope you cheer up as the days go by and be strong for your friend as well. All right? Um, Big ups to, to some other persons who are all across the states tuning in. I know uh, Wayne is over there in New York City. Yes, locked into styles. Um, friends, other friends in Connecticut tuning in. Um, Atlanta, Kevin. Kevin is in uh, somewhere in Fort Lauderdale, I think it is, or Miami, somewhere there. Big up yourself. Kevin always locked in as well to pretty much every show on Styles FM. Big ups to you. I don't big one up all the time, but big ups tonight. And of course, to other friends who are in other parts of the US of A. And of course, to Car... Uh, Car... Oh, I forget her name. Um, 
Carrie Lee. Is it Carrie Lee? <laughs> oh, God. Celia, remind me of your sister's name, please. She's always locked in. She's in Canada, and she is always locked into stars, tuning in, and so on. So big ups to you as well, and um, to other friends over there in the UK. Um, big ups to Sivan as well. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, so um, I we're not leaving out any. Oh yes, I'm leaving out my parishioners. Let me and my my other extended um, friends across the other parishes and neighboring parishes. How dare me? And let me just give a big, big, big shout out to all our friends. I'm going to go to St. Mary first, yes, this week. Big ups to the people in St. Mary, always locked into Tiles FM, wherever you are in St. Mary, big ups to you, yeah. And let me go further afield to St. Anne, the Garden Parish of St. Anne. Big ups to all the St. Anne. We call them St. St. what? Onian. St. And onion? Yes. No, that's not, that's not right. <laughs> Center Knights? <laughs> what do you call them? I know you have... Is it Port Antonians? What do you call us? Tell me. Portlanders. Portlanders. But if you're in Port Antonio, are you a Port Antonian? Porty people. Porty people. Yes. All right. <laughs> and I want to know what they call them in St. Anne. St. Anian. St. Anian? That don't sound right. That sounds so wrong. But to all my friends, our friends over there in St. Anne, if you're locked in via the, the, the application or on the World Wide Web, big ups to you, the Garden Parish. I love St. Anne, by the way. Can I tell you? I do. Yes. And let me come back to the Eastern End now. So all our friends in the Porty people, them, the Portlanders, Yes, wherever, whichever part of Portland you're there, whether the east, the west, the north, the south. You have South Portland? <laughs> Big ups to you tonight yes, for keeping it locked to Real Talk and, of course, the stars at large. The Big up, who else you left out? The Big up St. Thomas already? I'm coming to St. Thomas. You did Big up St. Mary already? Yes, man. St. Mary was okay. first for tonight. So... To all the wonderful people as well over there in St. Thomas. You know, I have some connections in St. Thomas like that. So big ups to all the people in St. Thomas right now. All over St. Thomas, length and breadth and everything in between. Yeah, big ups to you. Whitehall Massive, Seafort Massive, Mummy. She's sleeping, I hear, but she might soon wake up back. <laughs> and of course, the immediate family and by extension, let all me, the friends over there you in St. Thomas. You know a lot of people in St. Thomas? Not a lot of people, but I went to school there for two years. Mm -hmm. But most of those persons, I think, would have gone wherever. You know the man? The man? No, the man. The man? Mm -hmm. No, but Celine Dion thinks about call the man. He's needed here. Okay. Call the man. The, the, He's needed here. You don't know the man? No. Another one there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know him? You never visit the man yet. No man. <laughs> you never visit no man, man. No man. Mm -mm. I met someone the other day who said they know you. Oh, my friend from college, Lansford Grant. Lansford Grant, we met at the Pegasus two nights ago. Wow. <laughs> it's not like that. I can't take you. Oh, man. It's not like that. And, of course, um, he said he knows Bossy, right? And, oh, how could I forget? Let me quickly big up the principals, the former principals, the retirees from the, the, the region, too, St. Thomas, St. Mary, St. Anne, and in particular, the principals from Portland. There were four of them. All the names I cannot remember, but I know Hope Bay, primary and junior high school is one of those principals who was honored and of course we have boston miss pullen from boston another from kenwright primary my school mr alva williams i remember that name i can't forget that name and there's another lady oh my goodness she is from Port Antonio Infant School. Yes, I remember the schools well, but the other names evade me because you're not getting old. So after the break, I'll tell you a little bit more. It's now 9.30, and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We soon come. 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Party people, are you ready? Styles 96 FM and DJ4, the illest, present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour, Styles 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 12 midnight, you just gotta tune in. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, welcome back to Real Talk. And as I was saying, big ups, big ups to the principals who have served the Region 2 for collectively 400 and odd years, collectively combined. Can I tell you? What? Yes. So big up some 42 years and some 41 years in the service and so on. And 30 odd years, holy per years, I tell you. So big ups to all the teachers, all the principals who were honored on Wednesday night at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel. Of course, the Region 2 um, Ministry of Education, Youth and Information put on this dinner for let, them. Let me, and it, they were well appreciated. Let me ask you a question. What were you doing there? Because I was representing for my personal principal, former principal, as well as for all the principals within the parish, who, the honorees within the parish, and by extension, those from Region 2, because I'm a part of Region 2, and I happen to be the public relations officer for Portland. So I would have had to capture that very momentous occasion for these very special retirees. So let me ask you another so question. So I was in the capacity of supporting as well as working as PR. So let me ask you another question. <clears throat> um, were there any other PR persons there? I'm not aware, but I did what I thought I needed to do. So were you invited or did you invite yourself? Oh, no, I was invited and I was, my ticket was presented to me. And was your name there? Or did you have to write your name on a paper? No, no, I didn't write my name on a paper. My name must have been there because they got my name to say, I'm, I had my ticket, my ticket was my pass to go through the airport. So you got it. You got a, you got, you, you get a pass. It's almost like when Look here, hold on, hold on. ticket. What, hold on. It's almost, is it like when fan fusion? Me, no. Hold on, no, I'm asking. Is so it, say, but I'm asking. Is it, <laughs> You're being provocative. Is, yes. Is it, <laughs> is it similar to when fan fusion um, have a giveaway? <laughs> Persons. No, dear. No, 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 no. So, how did you get your pass? How did you come about what was to, the pass? To, to qualify? It was my ticket. How did how did you qualify for it? Look at me. Okay, let me ask. 
Mrs. 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 Miss Roper, Celia mm. Roper, Rena Crawford, did you Claudine purchase Lewis. it? We were specially invited. Because you showed me yes. photos and you said it's for what? Past? Principal, pre retired past principals. principals. Yes. Right. And, and I've worked umpteen years in the, in the, in the And are you a profession. retiree? No, but you have to have, if you only had the retirees there. Yes. Who would be there to cheer them on and to motivate them and to encourage them? It would be just as much as, as having them at home, giving them are a gift. You, are you suggesting that there have been <laughs> principals for years and have not mastered the craft of self-motivation? <laughs> What's wrong with this man, man? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing with you tonight. I'm just not laughing with you right now. <laughs> I'm just trying They've to figure out what was arts. your purpose there, apart from just wanting to be at the Pegasus Hotel. No, 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 no. I've been there before. Doing on what? One, on more than one occasion. What? I, but I've just... I, in I what like capacity? Lobby. I like the lobby, by the way. I went to another function there. And another function there. And did you go there to function? All the time I went there, I functioned. Like last Wednesday night. Like Wednesday night gone, I functioned quite well. Okay. Yes. And, 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 <laughs> everyone, and, 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 and your, your performance was satisfactorily done? Oh, of while course. you functioned? Oh, of course. All the time. I, I don't settle for mediocrity. I go for the best at all times in whatever so, I do. So is that... Look here, you know, interview and, me the pan. And is and that... Am I doing a lie, lie detector <laughs> test right now? Practically, yeah? yes. <laughs> and is that, is that in order to function and, out and shine, is that the reason why you chose to force your way into an event for, <laughs> for where the elders were? Don't call them elders. Call them... Um, Oh, you mustn't call them old. Faye Ellington said you mustn't call them old. Auntie Faye, oh my goodness, she was, she was amazing. As usual, naturally so. Don't call them old. Yes. Call them Antique. senior persons. The seniors, don't okay. call them old or elderly. Mm -hmm. They're not old. So you outshone the seniors? No. I just stood beside them and supported them. And I took a pick with Auntie Faye. Did they need your support? One of my favorite persons. D are you of the view that they need your that they needed your support? Oh yes, man. Our principal was elated when he saw us. He was. How many persons within your age group attended? Um, I would say probably a quarter. A quarter is one over four, right? Yes. So if they had a hundred people there, then twenty five would have been probably in my age group, I think. That were not past past um principal. Except for the recipients, right? The awardees. Mm hmm. Yes, so I was in big people's crowd. And by the way, St. Andrew, how could I leave out the parish of St. Andrew? People in St. Andrew are locked in right now. And of course, Clarendon and Westmoreland and all over the island for true, 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 because they're going via the World Wide Web. Sister Nyla over there in St. Andrew is locked in to Stars FM. And of course, yes, it's Carrie. I don't know where I get Carly from. Oh, gosh. Curry in Canada. Maybe, locked the, in. maybe it's a senior in you. <laughs> yes, it is. I, yes, I'll agree yes. to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daddy Rule, tell me a little bit about your week. My week. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, my week did kind of look a bit, you know, boringish because, you know, I mean, first and, first and foremost, my, my week started from Saturday. Mm hmm. Which I when me took my car to the garage to do some work that should take only an hour. It took forever. I know my car to the garage. Oh Lord, <laughs> several hours. So, <laughs> you know, my week, my eventful week started from Saturday because me there at Kingston and my cousin did have to come rescue me, you know, you know, mm. pick me up and bring me to Portland. So you know, I think oh, already. Oh shh. Just a part of it. And, um, did you plan to get a new car? Did you tell the car that again? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to remember. I think he made some utterance about some other vehicle, you know, by the car decided oh, to start God. misbehaving again. <laughs> I, I, I think it hurt me last week. Same thing? I told you. <laughs> Somehow it probably maybe the radio in the car turned on yeah. somewhere. You know? yeah. That was part of it. Make him go on, man. Long run shot catch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, not much for me. It wasn't an eventful week, kind of. It wasn't. Nah, nothing, mm. not, not, nothing eventful, in my opinion. Just for me, Wednesday was, yeah. And my kids every day give me all kind of events. To, to laugh. I, I crack up in most days. I do crack up. Those kids kill me. 
Well, tonight's topic is about Uno's. <laughs> Big ups to all the people in South Carolina, Marcia. Hope you're okay. I really do. Hope you're okay. But we are getting rain um between Sunday and Monday still now. So right now, I think why could it be on the weekend? Like right after the night. You might get a day off after I finish working. You might get a day off. I have a job to do on Saturday, and I don't want the rain to fall. That's why I said Sunday and Monday. We don't want a day off yet. It sounds funny. Lord, did I just say that? <laughs> but I don't really want a day off yet because them kids have to prepare for the pepper. The pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, the pepper. <laughs> so we are preparing them right now for that. So we really don't want a day off. Let it's, me ask It you. throws your mem- momentum off for the week. Sort Do of. you consider, consider yourself to have a summer body? Okay, can not ask me that? Summer done, you know? Someone have you been to the beach? Um, uh uh-uh. You haven't been been to the beach, you know. You know why in, not? In, in, because we can't really fit in the bad suit. No, we're getting to somewhere. Smoke. Cassidy, don't look for me like that. <laughs> no, we're getting somewhere. Don't look over here like that, Cassidy. The stomach getting bigger, and I, so, I, I'm trying to get it off. You know, I don't know why Shelly and all Sister P and the herbalists. And Dr. Iman Black could give me some ideas as to... Dr. Iman Black needs to give me some ideas as to how to get this off. Get this weight off. I'm putting on weight and I don't know why or how I come. have an idea. Me no one for your idea. That's all right. That's all right. I may not hear it yet. <laughs> no, no. I, and, and I think most women will agree. Let me hear it. Be my girlfriend. Oh, Lord. That sounds like stress. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> People, hey. I will definitely lose hey. weight. Can I tell you? Oh my goodness! What's your what's your what's your um your um opinion and your recommendation, Cassidy? I'm gonna show you something. Folly, and that's painful. But I've been going to Folly. Can I tell you? Yes, man, and I've seen Cassidy bursting some sweat out there. I, I stop. I paused. I need to. I need to resume. <laughs> I need to resume. My hours are so. Black foot. People, I gotta pause. Oh! <coughs> this picture I'm looking at is choking me in a very good way. <laughs> is you that daddy road? No, no, sorry. You well, is you this? <coughs> People, oh my goodness, if you see Huel Jackson, as I said, Huel Jackson, people, in his office, around his desk, looking like a million smart people put together. I did say looking like. <laughs> looking like a million smart men in one. Oh my, with the glasses on, well shaved, nicely groomed. The jacket fits perfectly. A lovely peachy tie to go with the blue. You don't want a picture here. I mean, all right. Look here, look here, man. Ah! No, sir. Oh, food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was crabs. I don't like crabs. People, my boss looks so nice in a suit. Yes. Um, so I had, come here, look so. I had a meeting. <laughs> so you come here, look so. Eh? <laughs> no jacket, no nothing. Put on one next week, man. Now come back here, look so star. Well, I had a meeting yesterday. So I'm going to the meeting. I have to pass a few offices. Mm-hmm. And one secretary called me and said, uh, Mr. Jackson. You see, you you look like look like one man who will cause problem in a woman life. <laughs> <laughs> People are telling it's true. It look really nice. Oh my goodness! So, you know that is my solution to you. Are your weight is okay then? Okay, you Nyla. Probably, you probably not not now. Nyla has about. some advice for me. I'm sure about that. She's probably yeah. cracking up right now. <laughs> you, you, you know, have not now worry about you. You're, you're contented. Uh, you need some problem. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, if you talk to boss, man. You need some problem in your life. You need oh you know, you know, things things too good. I oh, maybe I should try taking up bright eye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Me never said more bright famine. Eye. Me never said more famine tech, you know. <laughs> <laughs> me never said that. Bright eye, taxi driver from Port Maria to Ocho Rios. Yes, big up yourself and of course big ups to soup man himself from Trinity, Port Maria. Yes, I mad. And his wife. He married? No? I have no idea. Wife Keisha. Big up yourself, Keisha. 
she sh- I-, I hope she's slim and trim because <laughs> bright hair should be a handful, two hands full, and all that. All right. No, man. No, no, no. You're not get off so easy. Back to the summer body business. What's wrong with your bad suit? You say it can't um, fit. It All can right. fit, but the stomach is just a little bit too so why, you know, protruded. So is it one piece or two pieces? Uh, I don't have any one piece anymore. You know, it's only two pieces I would have. I've always owned two pieces since I was an adult. So, but you realize that like that no <laughs> I, I prevent you from going to the beach right not really just, just so we don't have time for the beach so let me ask and not only that to be why, honest why, why, the river right. where the can, beach where makes can, the can, all salty yeah okay. so when last I got a river well, last time I go to the river yeah um, it's long time you know okay why I don't mean, have the time. I don't mean, have the time. Okay. Well, I was just going to make a suggestion. If I mean, you I want to go to the river, though. You can wear one shirt, so one shirt. You know? I do that. I'm going to I water. Yes, when I do that. I, think that I don't have more. that a bad... I don't have such a bad not to somebody, you know. That doesn't sound like craziness. But I'm, I'm getting back to that smaller body frame. And yes, Cassidy, I'll be going to folly again. I'll be resuming. I'm just going to press the play button here <laughs> on my radio. <laughs> All right? So, Daddy Roshi is just good at handling problems. Man, I'll leave me alone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't set me up, Nyla. <laughs> no, but, but that's a nice way of putting yeah, the reason idea. for <laughs> your um, <laughs> challenge that you're having right now. <laughs> Oh, but oh boy. like if 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 I can think of when me, you know, when, when me just know you, and Jesus, you know, no yeah, man. <laughs> all, all all the relevant parts that are supposed to be flat, flat, and all the relevant parts that are supposed to be fat are fat. <laughs> no, they are part is a competition <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is eh? Daddy Road not you, well? Why is Daddy Road making Lady Cleo the subject? Lady Cleo's growing <coughs> physique, <you. laughs> the <laughs> subject right at the moment, because I am just. I'm trying to motivate you. Michigan man, something I want to say for true. I just can't bother. I'm trying to motivate you. Motivated. Yes. Okay. Motivated. So I bought some some. Leave me alone, Nyla. <laughs> I bought some teas this evening. Yes. And I will be taking them. I'm going to measure the waistline first. Yes. And then I'm going to take them. And then I measure again. And I did threaten the young men who sold it to me and told them that I have, Is friends, it herb? In the, I have friends in the force. You bought herb? It's a herbal thing, yeah. No, no, no. I talk herb. You know herb? Mojo herb? No, my <laughs> youth. Mojo herb or something for take right now unless you're at home, home, home. Yeah, then you when know. I was a child, I took mojo herb and it wasn't tasting good and it never made I, me feel good I afterwards. I'm not taste. I'm not No, I had some, I have some other teas. I think it will do the same function. So I'll make sure no, you take them no, no, at no. home. No. Mojo herb cannot take. No, man. Mojo herb is not going to work. What does mojo herb do you? Come in another word. Your belly. The one in looking yellow. Uh, herb. Yellow herb. Pack, yes. Herb. Well, last, well, last I see that. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yes. Yeah, so well, last I see herb. You used to take herb? Much herb. Oh, well, yeah, I said Cassidy. worm then, Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy. I had to take those when I was going to school. No, man. No. Oh, upon this Jamaican earth. Earth. Which Jamaican? Never take never herb. Take much herb. Oh, never take herb. In a... In a, in a in a box or a paper that looked like a cuboid. Yeah, man. Yes, I remember it. It was so awful. My Herb. goodness. Lisa, big up yourself. Come on. Sexy in Galena. Who? St. Mary. Sadie. Cassidy. Where's my godmother? Cassidy. Herb cut off your worm, them, you know. Oh, I yeah, asked man. Now they have this zental. I don't know how it works. No, that, but... that, 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 that has touched something, man. You have to Ooh. take. The, 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 the herb is like, it make your belly work. Work for true. It's a go bathroom, so go bathroom, so go bathroom. So. You need herb. I know, I know, I know. No, you just need herb, man. You need something <laughs> <laughs> to cut, to, 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 to cut the thing. No, cut fatty, cut worm. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> Nyla says, I used to get that every, uh, I guess it's every holiday before you go back to school. Yes, man. I before you go, yeah, man. School, that, yeah, that, man. That, that was the Wash timing. Your, yeah, the best timing. Yeah, man. Yep. Best timing for uh, cleaning out Cassidy. I used to get that every year in primary school at the restart. You know, you know, little year. ringworm patch them? You want to get rid of them there? Tech herb. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh my goodness, people Mojo say, herb boy. Mojo people herb. say you pass, you, 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 um, what say, um, you pass worm. Yes. Tigo says after every manga season, you sure forget it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when my mother used to drench me with that herb. herb. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. No, 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 Yes, listen. You can't dead and not take herb. You have to sample try, herb. Sure, we try the herb. Let's go Cassie, I'm telling you about herb. You ever take a dry weed yet? I have. You never take a dry weed yet, Cassidy? Jesus. Oh my Cassie, goodness, what's wrong with you? Cassidy, you have some things to do in your life. Yes. Right? You see sampling weed? You have to sample herb. I mean, if you have a small pack, a small right? amount, so they don't get arrested. Cassidy, <laughs> just make sure, say... <laughs> You get that in your life, right? If cast, if you're ever married, if you even have got there, a virgin, no, right? No, that you work. Have, no, well, I know, I tell you the importance of, of getting the experience of herb. It better you're dead a virgin, <laughs> right? Than not try herb. Cast, you have to know. So take herb this week and next week we have a conversation. Cast, <laughs> <laughs> me can't believe. Just right now, you can't even have oh. no experience in a life. Oh, if you don't get herb. When you're going to write your next resume, put zero experience. <laughs> I'm sure they won't know where you are talking about. Cass, <laughs> you are fit. You're a lunatic, I swear. <laughs> no, I can't, me can't believe. Oh, boy. Uh, Kevin, in the meantime, while you're processing this. You, you know what? Then try to for, forget for herb out of business. <laughs> Brooklocks. And in a work. <laughs> Brook locks no work for to take, take over herb. I'm gonna get you a pack of mojo herb, sir. We can't believe. But he can't come to work when he takes it. You know, me cast the make it weak. Make it weak. Cast, cast, believe me, cast. Oh my goodness. This is all your, you see, you see, you see all your exercise and all that something now. Need some herb for you. Believe me, cast today. At that time, at that time, you, 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 you're gonna lose the fat. Instant. I just must lag a left. You need to go back on the herb. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't take the herb, you never have a competition with the, with the system. Uh, oh right? Look at me. And the amount of herb, herb. the amount of herb on me to take. When it did take. So you're still in my system. <laughs> right? No, man. Oh, Lord. Let's, hey, let's... all this morning, Cassidy, my episode come like as a herb episode. <laughs> So me know, remember, I was telling about my, my, my processing yes. plant, you know. Yes. Me go on my bed about 4.30 <laughs> this morning. And 6 o'clock when belly cut, hold me and wake me up. <laughs> me, I figure what me need to go is a herb cut that Cassidy. <laughs> no worm not in this. <laughs> right now, Cassidy, you're full of worm, yeah, man. And you? <laughs> you are you full of worm. No, I'm going to take herb from more than Cassidy. No, you need more herb. You never get enough. Because oh, first sweet. and foremost, the mistake when you make it tell you, say you never like it. So we know, say, you take a little sip and you dash with the rest. <laughs> you need to go back one herb. <laughs> look for Nyla. Nyla did get look properly fed <laughs> for herb. And Nyla said, Cassidy, where you go with that grand and grandma? <laughs> Nyla, grandma, that game herb. Get proper <laughs> feeding for herb. When you say Nyla, you don't say the herb in him. Sure. Okay, okay sir. You still yes or still? And yes or still? <laughs> herb, <laughs> Bill Nyla. <laughs> so, my mommy tell you. Oh, gosh. Kevin is another crazy one. Kevin says, Miss Cleo, the best way to lose weight is to run from the pier at midnight. I can't see them, so I wouldn't know, would know what to run from. <laughs> Daddy rude. <laughs> Good night. Oh, it's Lisa's birthday. Let's sing her quickly. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Lisa. Happy birthday. Sing again now. Happy birthday. And me say Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, sweet Lisa. Happy birthday. Hang on for your man, cause your man can perform. Can't hold your man and Lisa, you figure one. Hang on for your man, anyhow, anytime. Blah, blah, blah. 
happy birthday. Uh, no, sir. No, no, no. This is serious. Uh, what better Lisa, birthday, Tune? Eh? Lisa, have yourself a great one, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you live to see. Oh, Lord, she's kidding, Pupalikana, or something. Hope you live to see many, many more. <laughs> Birthdays, and we're glad it was a, it's a Friday night, so you can enjoy it with us, all right? Or we can enjoy it with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Marcy says the hurricane is eating us. Yes, in South at, Carolina, at, it is eating at us now. And but so far, so far she's I'm safe. safe. Great. Oh, thank God. Uh, I don't yes, know what yes, strength yes, it yes, is yes. right now, but she is safe, and I guess you she's know, able talking to. talking about hurricane. Um, I think it's Sunday, yes, when I got back to Montego Bay. Um, me hear my daughter upon this big laughter, this big laughter. I'm like, what's she a laugh about? Only when we reach at the house, me realize that she's um, reading from a book and, um, and learning from, from Karen Wild Gilbert's song. Oh, nice. And so I forgot on YouTube now, make sure I actually see the, 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 yeah, um, the video. Yes, yeah. the video. Nice one. And yeah. she had fun. Yeah. But little did I know, mm -hmm. it's actually, I think it's about six minutes. And the last part of be a slackness. Uh -oh. So you know, say so some question reach me. Reach you, uh huh. Could you answer them? Not in the way that I ought to have. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Because you but, see, Momo isn't the average child, you know. You know, you She's can't, smart like that. You so can you can, you can go on um YouTube people and type in um Wild Gilbert Light Love in there and you'll see that it's it's six minutes and what we usually get on the radio, there's a longer version. Oh, there is. Yes, there's a there, there's a longer version. Um <laughs> We can't talk about the longer version mm -hmm, on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. But you know everything is good and everything has been great for the week. Um, for the week, it's just that it could be boring. Nothing eventful never happen. Well, don't worry. Next week is coming. <laughs> I'd rather it not be eventful. <laughs> I'd rather it not be eventful. Oh Lord! But for me, um, there's something really important that I'd like for us to mm -hmm. talk about one of, one of these weeks, and it's um, what them call them? What them call them again? Um, Lifestyle disease. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, some we want to talk about some lifestyle diseases and Definitely. the best way to deal with them, how you support an individual that is going through True. those, you know, hypertension. Mm -hmm. um, Whether it's a child or an adult, because children are right, suffering from right, right. um, some of these diseases. Um, what the other one name? Hyper diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. Um, holy for them, you know. Those are those are like some killers, you know. Yes, mm -hmm. you know the the more the more common ones, and as you go on a, on a, on a day to day basis, you realize that more and more persons are suffering from both high and low oh, yep. um, <clears throat> blood pressure. Yep. And um, different form of diabetes and other and other um, lifestyle diseases, and. In November, before we go to the break, in October, the last Friday, I think, of October, is going to be um, our second annual health fair at Neville Antonia Park, Sales FM second annual health fair. And we're actually seeking sponsors for this um, meaningful yep, uh, event. So. Last year, it was well supported. So we are seeking sponsors to make this a reality. Um, the health department is on board. Um, I think Shelly and can speak best about all the persons who have contacted and have committed to be a part of this. And I think the Jamaica Cancer Society mm -hmm. um, <coughs> is going to be there and they want a commitment that we have at least 35 people who want to be screened Mm -hmm. for <coughs> cancer and mm -hmm. this is going to be done right there on location and it's very important you know that you be a part of it yep and please may i beg on do those who would want to come and donate blood because it's a wellness fear and blood drive those who want to come and donate blood remember <coughs> do not have alcohol within a certain amount of hours prior to being there. Mm -hmm. You know, 
last year we had some persons who were so happy. <laughs> they were so happy, literally it's a boy they were come and join himself and willing to give blood, but after mm -hmm. them being screened, they were not fit. fit. It is now one minute after 10, ladies and gentlemen, the time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We we'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 don't forget 518-2399 Where are the babes? You look sweet today I'm going to link up later no? Um, not sure I might be busy ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> So where are say no? What time I can pick you up? Unleash the strong bamboo with iron moss Set the mood with premium Jamaican rum and bring the stamina with strong bamboo Irish moss. Try Irish moss. Must be 18 years and older. Drink responsibly. Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom. 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ram Tula Super Center and hardware? Ram Tula Super Center and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ram Tula Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ram Tula Super Center and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town native audio stage and lighting now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen, of course. You know, this is the show where we discuss every single thing that is real. And things you might be afraid to jump out at and to speak on, we are going to dissect it for you. All right, so tonight, our Vox Pop idea has a little spin on it. And here goes. <clears throat> what comes to thought when you witness a child being disobedient or disrespectful? Respectful to his or her parents in public. What comes to mind? What thoughts do you have when you witness a child being disobedient or disrespectful to his mother or to his father or to both parents in public? Even guardian, persons who look after them and nurture them and so and taking care of them, caregivers, they're being rude to. If you were to compare the home and the school, where do you think a child adopts most of his or her behavioral practices? 
and I'm wondering if it's the good or the bad ones, whichever one. Where do you think the child adapts his or her behavioral practices? Is it mostly from the home or mostly from school? And in your opinion, what's the best way to discipline a disorderly child? What's the best way to discipline a disorderly child? Deliverance. Hmm. The best way. Now let's go to the first part. Now what comes to thought when you witness a child being disobedient and disrespectful to his parents? Now, I'm looking at a child from as young as, say, six, younger, going up to, say, 12, going up to, say, 15, yeah? And in my honest view, being a mother and being someone who works with children, I am of the strong view <laughs> that outside of the child being mentally challenged, because there are children who are like that, who misbehave, and probably they can't really necessarily help themselves, some of them. What do you mean? Let me finish. Let me finish. There are children who have mental problems and psychological problems. But you said apart there. Eh? What did I say? It's a psychological. And mental. It's, it's the reality. It's, it's a real talk. Believe me, it's a real talk. So you do have, outside of those children who have those issues. They have mad picnic. Mentally challenged kids, yes. What's the difference between a mentally challenged It's a euphemistic way of putting it. And a psychologically um, challenged person. have psychological issues. Um, the psychological issues could be that there are other variables in their life that is affecting the way they behave. It's, they're, not, they're, they're internalizing those problems. You know, and they're, picnic. hold on a man, hold on a man. You have psychological issues that are affecting children because they are they witness something, for example, yeah. or they experience something personally. Or peer or um, bullyism. Bullyism. Um, maybe parents are not living well, you know, yeah. living good, and fighting every day and kick down and beat up, and they witness so they all of that. Develop antisocial behavior and. Um, some resistance to certain things and to certain people. Okay. So that, in my view, would be the psychological issues that affect how they behave. But in essence, they have good thinking, normal thinking brains. There are those kids who are mentally Not challenged the because they have inherited. No, sir. I'm telling you that there are kids who act... Some of them are kind of cuckoo. Really? Yes, because their genes, it's in the genes of the parents and they get it. I'm telling you, there are kids who this act that one, way. Honestly, this one is new to me, so I kind of find it difficult. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask a guidance counselor or persons who have studied more in depth what I'm talking about to text us and to verify if what I'm saying, there's any truth to it, because that it would has never heard never, that there are never, mentally never, challenged... Never, 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 Mentally never, never. challenged kids. There are kids. All right. All right. Hear what happened now. Maybe, just, maybe, just, maybe, maybe, just maybe you are correct. Oh, right? maybe now I'm correct. Yes. Can you believe this, people? I, I have, a, I have a, um, someone that has um, WhatsApp me. Already? In, no. Okay. W when, when I broadcasted this yesterday, mm -hmm. and they said that, well, I asked a question, because um, in response to the, the whole thing, they said, most children behave according to how they are treated at home. They act and socialize just as they do in the home. Parents only become embarrassed by the reaction in public. Mm -hmm. Some kids adhere to certain things from their peers. But my question to that individual was, what about the parents who are shocked by the um, revelation of their child's poor behavior in school? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the response was, those parents are clueless to the multiple personalities of their 
child. No, because <coughs> before you go, no, when, when I put in the argument sake as multiple personality based on what they said to me, it has said the pit is schizophrenic. Not really. And that it has said no, to not me, not really, based off of what you are saying. No. Look, there are kids, there are kids who at home they tear down the place, they get peer trouble, peer problem, peer talk to attitude problems and all kind of something, something. at home, yeah, at home. Okay, and when they are at school, <coughs> yes. they are saying the teacher is like, What? This particular child does that at home? Well, when they come here to me, I don't get no problem from them. I've had that experience. You? And the fl- yes, and, and the flip or side too. Or is it the too. reverse? No, both. More so the one the where... More so the one... No, more so the one where the child behaves at school. Behaves yeah. good at, at school? At school, yeah. And then I've, I've heard of cases too where at home the child just doesn't do much. When they come to school, they'll act out, but not like in a bad way, an awful way, or every day. But there are times when they just act out at school. Okay. So it, it leads you to wonder now what, what is happening. So sometimes I'll even call and I might say, I noticed that over time, this particular child has been doing this. Um, is there something wrong? Or I'll ask the child, what is happening? Why are you constantly behaving this way? Whatever, whatever. What are you some know? of the answers that you get? I haven't had that situation in much in the last couple of years. But um, over time, you've heard, not even just from me, but from other teachers elsewhere, you've heard stories of, um separation mm-hmm. that has been one one of the issues where mother and father are no longer together maybe they were together or mother might have died Mm-mm. one of the parents passed on and now a step situation is in the home and they are being raised with the step parent and whether the step parent is good or not so good it's the same reaction really okay. because they are now um lashing out then they're not willing to receive the step parent, mm-hmm. despite the efforts, the good efforts of the step parent. So um, that those two I, um, reasons come to my mind readily, based on you know years experiences over the years. Um, sometimes, two children, some children are bullied at school, and okay. even in the community. I, I I know of a case. One little boy was in just give you a trouble, and you wonder, you think he's like Tommy Trouble or Dennis the Menace, yeah. that kind of thing, and when you sit and probably listen to you know, you ask what happened why you what happened why you be here son what's going on and whatever whatever and then you hear a story like when you're going home you're afraid to walk on the road to go home and i said to myself well maybe because they give so much trouble that every other person that they pass on the road going home if you had a child their age group might want to pick a fight or start to pick a fight Mm -hmm. and beat up and this one beat up that one and you know you get beat up and so you're like you put up this fence where you're so afraid and then to defend yourself as a defense mechanism you find yourself more picking the fight with everybody before they pick one with you okay right so we've seen those situations and and so on so yes you do have children who are schizophrenic mildly <laughs> Bipolarism. So, so, so if you pick a fight, excessively. before somebody pick a fight with you based off of the situation, you understand somebody that bother, that, that, that bother them smart? Both. A little of both because not realizing too that how about finding another alternative? What if you can walk somewhere else to go home? Who are you talking about? What if you can walk with a group of persons as opposed to walking alone? But because what you look at you know, is that, okay, so you're smart. If it's smart... And then you're going to start a fight with somebody. One of the evenings, God forbid, you might end up becoming a victim. Because you don't know how far these other persons will go. How much hurt they'll you know, bring to you. Yeah. So you have to consider, okay, do I want to be fighting with somebody every evening when I'm going home? Do I want to be going home to make a weapon? To, to, to defend myself against somebody else who's going to attack me on the road? So you have to think about your actions before you do them. Mm. And then these some kids, if at a tender age you're thinking that way, you find that by the time you reach probably high school or halfway into high school, you're now a murderer, God forbid, or you're at some juvenile yeah, home. Or, yeah. Right. So you have to make 
wise decisions and keep the right people in your circles. All right? So now, yes, so you do have mentally challenged kids. Period. Full stop. All right? <laughs> we go back to the question, and we have some comments. Let's look back at the question, the first part of the question. What comes to thought when you witness a child being disobedient and disrespectful to his or her parents? And for me personally, outside of the fact that the child has serious issues, I think them just spoil the picnic them. All right. First, my I just well, think this. Before, spoil them. Let me ask you, before you go further, have you ever witnessed it? Yes, man, I've seen it. What are some of the things that you know a child would do? The behavior? Hit back the parent. The parent talk to them and probably clap them on the hand. Mm -hmm. And they cuff them back. Or... And they, it, all right, hold on. Something wrong with that? Of course. What in is, my time, mm. me hit back my mama. Let me ask hey. you a question. Hold on, hold on. Let me oh, ask. please. Yeah, but let me ask you a question. Did mommy teach you to not take nobody lick? No. No, hold on. That's not the question. No, she, she never teach you that. No, mommy teaching me that. Right? Because most of the parents... Avoid fighting, stay away most, from bad company. Hold on, no, most of the most of we grow up and say, yo, no, you're not for tech, nobody lick, anybody lick, you lick, lick them no, back. No, I don't remember my mama telling me that. So, and, and the parents of today tell their kids that. So, well, I know, so, they, so never when, say, they, ne they never say, if me excluding me. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think that a child, mommy, clap you on your hand, you should be coughing back. You're crazy. I have seen... Children dragging and, on the ground. And, and then holding them on the ground and a ball and a carry on. Tantrum. Having a fit tan Yeah, turn No, man. I honestly think, I honestly think that the poor lip in them, for the most part, the ones who behave. And mark, mark you, I did say that we're excluding the ones who have a serious issue, psychological issue. Because those don't necessarily can function normally don't necessarily function normally in thought mm. right so for me let me let me give you a prime example i was young when i was raising a child mm. and there were times when she, there are times and there were times when she would have tried to pout up mouth and i mean them something there because i did that and believe me the most i could have done was to push up the mouth and try to make sure to seat either. Or, what do you say? That's the reaction you had to give. Yeah. You could never dare let her hear you saying X and Y and Z to her. And in your mind, you can't stand her, man. She does just, just miserable. So, in your head, you can't talk when she hear you. So, growing up and growing a child, from a young age, I know say at six years old that child couldn't even think for romp with me. And I'm seeing six year old children, seven, nine, on the road with their parents, running their parents' head. And when they talk and their aunts answer some something, the parents skin them teeth. Mm -hmm. It perturbs me. Because I'm like, boy, I'm a camera on the gym. And I know that my daughter is 25 soon and you might say oh it's a different generation now yes i know that but then i have been in the classroom for this is my 19th year and i've seen a lot of generations yeah so to see you telling me now the same generation that you say oh i can't manage them i'm in the class and when i talk no dog bark <laughs> and look at my frame i'm not big i mean i'm putting on some weight but i'm not big and strapped in and mighty like some you know some men who just when you see me like Ooh, soldier, police, look straight. No. Or some women who are strapped in body when they walk in the class, if you don't shut up your mouth. I don't look that way, but I don't think I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying if I can control the way children behave at 11, 12, don't tell me that at, at six years old, seven, eight, nine, you're having a problem controlling your child, as Lisa said, and as Lisa rightly said, they friend the children them yes. too much. No and don't that. get me wrong, parents. It's good to be a friend to your child where your child can come and confide in you and tell you just about anything. Mommy, this is bothering me. Mommy, this happened to me. Mommy, that is going on. That's good. 
But you can I tell I told my daughter when she was big, 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 look here now. Me not begging any friend from you. I'm your mother first, your friend after. So the motherly role had to be played before any other role. And if it's tough love time, it's just tough love time. When they come to school, daddy rude. And we know as teachers trying to discipline them certain way for them to understand that for you to be able to do well, you must maintain some level of discipline. When we try that, and at home, they can do anything they want to do at home. No rules, no regulation, no nothing, no control. It's hard. Because at home, they're the big men and the big women who match up on the same shoulder level with mommy and daddy or auntie. So when they come there, and you're trying to control what they say, mm -hmm. how they say it, my God, it's a task. <laughs> so, so I think they're just spoiled. And some of these parents who these children rude to and disrespect in public many of the times most who of the do times, you think looks 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 um bad almost appearance almost appearance because because the, the question itself speaks to is more what is your perception because because of what you're witnessing mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're gonna end up a draw a conclusion that they're right? spoiled that they're spoiled and and a them rule they and that right. might not be the case. Because not for the time to kids act out in public. public. True. But right. then the parents' reaction in public can also help to let you realize that Make you come to a conclusion, exactly that maybe because, because, because this is just an acting out for moment. Because um, a lot of parents, I think, will happen to them too. Based on how the picnic go on, them get embarrassed. Yeah. And the first thing to do in order... Well, it, the best thing in their opinion to do at that time is to laugh it off. Mm -hmm. But really and truly, we know, say, just like when you walk more time and you drop, you're shame, but you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right? So it, it can be a situation like that where, say, you know, the, the, the parent themselves forgot, say, at them rule and them end up trying not wanting to embarrass or make the, the situation worse. If them feel if them try to discipline the youth. To, 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 in to, public. Yes. Reprimand. To show cover the face of it. To oh. cover, right. But but the, the, the look well, of it, the, the, how it looks mm -hmm. or how we perceive it is a boy, yo, as I say, the pitney spoil, I see me go on a yard, in mum and in papa grim like a big spot, like them a size. And uh, that's why the picnic come now, a road come go on. So you can sometimes tell the difference, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can tell the difference. Because sometimes you can pick up. I remember going to a fast food. I think it was pizza out in New Kingston some months ago, and a <laughs> lady was there with her kids. Where's about summer body again and pizza out? <clears throat> I can't help my Italian food. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 so this lady was in there, and you could I could tell that she was so embarrassed. The little boy was just fidgeting all over the place. You, you could tell he was very very hyperactive, very hyperactive, and she kept on saying sit down sit down and people were there and she, she just looked looked and sounded embarrassed and she had to be like at, at one point she had to clap him and him put down a piece of balling into the pizza hut serious piece of balling like it was like almost disrupting the whole place and she just was like I'm going to sit down, go sit down. And then she, 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 mommy, like, she can't deal with him, she can't deal with him, and whatever. And then he sat down and put his slippers on. And she had to be saying the one thing like a hundred times. Now, I don't know if this kid had any problems, but it didn't seem that way to me. And they seemed very busybody. And I just think that sometimes, because they're young, the parents don't um, instill certain behaviors and attitudes from early. So but they grow up a certain way, get away with certain little things. Yeah. And when they reach now where the tree actually been already, it's hard to straighten it back. You understand? Mm -hmm. So from early, nothing is wrong letting the child know that just looking at them. The look. The look alone. Yeah. Should say something. I've got the look. Oh, trust me. I've got the look, brother. I'm in class and I just... Over the years, I've done it. Just give the look. Stop talking. Just give that look. Let me see a look. No, sir. Or I'm telling you it works. Or I'll be like, 
Nossa. It works. It works. I've seen, children, class. I've seen children. Look, I'm looking at them. I'm steering them down. And they, they know no chewing of gum in my class, for example, because the gum, they put it all over the place. Yes. And they put them clothes, nice, nice clothes, nasty up. Yes. Not in for it. So I said, no gum during my class time. And I've just stopped teaching and look at them. And the child all the head down. Want to let this stop all through. I've seen some go so. He <laughs> <laughs> gone down the same time. And I want to laugh, but I can't laugh. So you're afraid the, it, 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 it tell them try. No, I didn't say anything. You never know, so can't tell them try. I said I did you know say anything. Hold well, on, did you know said if them saw the bubble gum, it's gonna tell them try. No, I saw enough from them my time and my try not tie up. Then that's why you're not loose at home. You try tie. You see, me, me never saw no bubble gum, so my no, system just. The kids you know? just sometimes they just go, and sometimes you see them put it on the side of their mouth and they stop. And I'm looking at them for like a minute, and then I continue what I'm doing. And two twos, you see the mouth again start going. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, seriously? And you see, same time. Sometimes nothing my word. Just another look. But you, you look, so no. So it happens. I, I, honestly, Maybe I'm not doing it now because I'm not in character, the actual moment. Yeah, but, but I'm telling you, look, the, the, my look. Hold on. Let me give you an example of what mm. happen, what, what, what works. So, you, so, so why are you not just like skin up your face? Can I have one no, 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 no. Skin up your face, let me see. <laughs> no, that no, look like me smell something. I don't want to give them that look. I can't give them that look. So I, I remember, I remember, I remember going, telling my kids, when the bell goes, for example, you need to respect the bell. So I don't want, because you're the elites, I tell them you're the elites of the school, you're grade six. So whenever the bell goes, you need to respond to the bell. Yep. I mean, when you're out on the road or wherever, in the yard, I play, 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 play. When the bell ring, man, you would stop for yard, do go bathroom and come to class. They prepare for exam and all these things. Yeah. Now I go on the road in my lunch period and on my way back, I hear the bell. And I saw kids outside. I don't know. I couldn't tell who they were. As the vehicle touched the car, I'm going say. They must scatter. Mr. Demsess, I don't think they saw me. But they see a vehicle coming towards the gate. And they surmise that Miss could be in this vehicle. Miss O. Miss you? Miss me. Okay. And by the time I reach up to the gate, one of the vendors start cracking up. Miss Lewis, the pretty name said the taxi turned so. I mean, I tell her, them, scare my gun. <laughs> and she found it so funny. And that's because you have instilled certain things and tell them. So even though they go against is it, it, you know. Is, is, it, is it that you've instilled or is it that you've intimidated? Whichever one, my youth, whichever one works, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 so the, the point is, they know that they don't really want miss come mm. and see them out there because the chances are yeah. we're not going to hear the end of it. So whether she or she not, we're gone. So I'm just saying, if you instill certain behaviors in your kids, let them know you love them, yes, but certain behavior, you know, put up with the slackness, not put up with the wrongs, when they come with the teeth in phone and the teeth in book and the teeth in dictionary or the borrow book or the fine book or the fine phone, Make them go back to school with it. Yes. I brought my dictionary when I was in primary school. My friend lent me, and my mother made me know so one orange dictionary. I must say, Oxford or Nelson. One orange color, one like the mother or paper. Yeah. And I brought home that dictionary and she gave it to me proper. She didn't really beat me. But she gave me a stern piece of warning. No carry home nobody things. Because when you borrow it and lost it, you, you have, have to go buy two. Buy two. Mm -hmm. She always said that. So I mean, no, no, say. No, borrow nobody things if you carry. Oh, you so understand? Have you, your own. So you actually borrowed it. I borrowed it. That's what you did? Yes. You sure you borrowed then it? I borrowed it. So and I want to tell you something. When I go back with the dictionary, the girls say, our dictionary this and our dictionary that. And one bang around, forget back our dictionary till we all fight. <laughs> and roll downstairs. But when we come back after the break, it's now 10.30, people. Whoa. The time is brought to us by VJ <laughs> Printing services and real talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around, we soon forward. 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor find unbelievable prices on tiles toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures vanity sets, doors, windows, lumbers and much more get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale visit any three locations in Portland Buff Bay, St. Margaret's Bay and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware. Your foundation starts with us. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. The Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment every Saturday 12 noon on Smooth Sailing. If your program is not on the edge, then it's not on the cutting edge of entertainment. News, reviews, interviews, it songs and so much more. The Entertainment Edge telling you all about entertainment on Styles FM with your host Shelly Watson. Hey, it's Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment. entertainment. Do you feel trapped behind your glass Ever considered what life would be like to wake up to crisp, clear vision? LASIK Vision Correction may be just the answer you're looking for. At Caribbean LASIK Vision Center, our team of certified doctors and counselors are available for LASIK evaluation. Call us at 6300958 or visit www.lasikcaribbean.com. We are conveniently located at 34 Lady Musgrave Road, CLVC, where technology meets the eye. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Talking about the picnic of them, and of course, Before whether or not it's the parents who make them behave a certain way in public or not. Before you get to that, more talk about the fight where you say a fight o- <laughs> over, <laughs> over, over the book. Oh, I mix up the people. Over the, sure. bo- over the book where you thief. No, me never thief no book. Look here, no man. I never thief no book, man. There was okay, so I was reminded that it was an email that I borrowed from her. Thank you, mama. <laughs> borrowed the email so, that mommy so, bought. She, she bought back two. So one mommy, for me and so, one so, for she. Mommy know about the email, but you just give away the website. Something with the dictionary. Something with the dictionary. I know what, what they happened. Either me tear our dictionary. I don't remember what happened, but she claims they are me Hold destroy on. our dictionary. Were you a finger fearing child? That's not like thief. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Well, 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 no, well, so. F- finger fear. Well, 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 when well, you're finger fear, you're thief. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. So that when we mean? want to speak about the children who are finger fearing at school, we don't say the people who are thief. Listen to me, man. It's not good to be finger fearing. <laughs> it's not good to be a kleptomania. So were you... Were you no, I wasn't a finger fearing So, so how you come for in possession our dictionary this no, time? I, I, I think it was a case where I was using no, it in no, class. No, no, no. I don't want you to think. I want you to Master, remember. a whole heap of years ago, I can't remember that. <laughs> no, man, you, in must, the 80s. You, you must remember the time when for somehow the dictionary... No, I don't remember what happened in terms it, of... Whether she had, I think it was a case where she loaned me the dictionary and I was using it. Probably had it for more than one time, more than one day, something, hold on, something. Hold on, hold on. But when so, I gave it back well, to hold her. Hold on, she lent her the dictionary. Yeah, man. So I, I'm not thief in nothing, man. Oh, hold on, I have it for an extended so period of time. Man, maybe, man. Did your mom know about it? 
I don't think so. Okay, but, but the hymnal we have God business in it. She would have know about that one day. Yeah, because the child say she must have lost it and she no, wants it. No, because your conscience whatever. and God need to set you free. No, man. But the, but, but, but the Webster, the orange one now, <laughs> the orange one where you have for an extended period of time, no, you no, end up a one Alright, so you end up a fight over it. Because she must have come and lick me. No, no, no. What she lick you for? Because you have it too long no, and never carry back? She said something must, be, something must be wrong with it. What and is I wrong say, with it? I said, my fault. I mean, I said, no, I'm give it back to her as it was. And she says, she said, she said something wrong with it and she had find out kind of fault and excuses. And I said, I'm hey. not buy back nothing. I hey, mean. Because and what happened? I didn't know, say. I couldn't go tell Miss Janet, say. I <laughs> didn't buy the book nothing because she already <laughs> buy back Imnal and all these things. So, oh, dear me, no. If we go back, go, and she said, don't borrow people things. And if we go, if we go back, go tell her, I'm going to borrow something again, I'm going to up. So you did beg it, beg it then? No, sir. No. <laughs> no so, I <laughs> couldn't go tell her nothing about no more book. Because I know it's a good proper flag in my skin. So, so I all the fight go. I gave her back her something. I gave her back her book. And she come on a, a pick fight with me. Of course, I have a friend that boosts her up too. When is a pick fight, what do you mean? Like, them I say, go, go for you. Go, 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 whatever, whatever. When she back, you sit and give you your book and that kind of something. Yes. And me the kind of saucy too. <laughs> so. Still. <laughs> still, no? <laughs> <laughs> so I tell her, so I don't have nothing to come and do nothing to it. And mm. yada, yada, yada. All right. And I remember, oh, she, if, if she lick me, I just want to push her up on me. Are you licking first? No, I don't have to lick first. I don't have to lick first. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't have to lick first. I try not to lick first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm best not to lick first. Because you mean a big fighter like that, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lick first. But she, either them push her on me mm. or she lick me or something. Yeah. And me now knowing how me mad ish, <laughs> now take her lick. No. So, my angry side now, my mighty side, I can't say some people. You're mad at chip now. Yeah. So now you get I'm mad. I lick her back. Yeah. And she licked me back again and I lick her again. Oh, you mean? So, of course, you know, say, you know, something got transpire, right? That's so. all. No, tell me about it. <laughs> yes, thank you, me know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Sister Nyla. Me don't know how did they have fight, 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 and my big finger reaching out and picking him out. <laughs> And the Pitney had no uncertainty but to just clamp her teeth them together. So the Pitney bite you? Master God. She bite me and it hot. <laughs> and if I'm, my memory serves me correctly, me bite her somewhere off your son. You bite him for the years. Somewhere upon her ears, me, me catch her and then me and her start rolling down. Was that, hold on, was that before the Tyson Holyfield fight? Long before, man, I think. You know? Okay, okay. Me that big, big, bigger girl when the fight they go on. Okay, me just a check. So I'm me give the idea. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> So, of course, me and I now start, we end up down this feet of stairs. Yeah. And, 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 and let me say, every kid will have an issue in school with somebody else, but the good thing is we had no weapons. That was days. The, in other days, they're different. Yeah, we just fist to fist something, you know? Fight. Boy, I don't know what happened to these kids today. Mm. Boy, anyway. Yeah, so, man, come on, you talk about the we, fight. We, we, we roll along some stairs now, and me never, me have feel, come in the market, you know? So me have feel lick all about. It's like, <laughs> the stairs them, the edge of the stairs them. Yeah. We are dropped down, you get lick, you get a lick up on something, and we, we crash like on the, the, the landing of the second stairs. Yeah. And none of the pit them. <laughs> no, some of them part way. So, me ask but me think about it now, me ask Hold on, say, hold on. Let me ask a question. My Based God, on man. what was happening, you didn't want to party? Somebody should have been there to no, party. Man. No, man. No, 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 no. I know that me did pan. You didn't want them to come party? Why not? Yes. You'd have lose. We're not supposed to fight. No, no, no. You'd have lose. I don't want to lose it. But you face no. <laughs> I know we know who it is, guess what? She get bite pan ears and we get bite pan finger and we wrap up like one ball yeah. down the stairs. And me know me and feel pain and clothes pull out, her blouse pull out, her skirt. Fear your blouse face. pull out? Yeah, she pull out on her ear, pull up. And fear your pull up? Yes, man. And we are blow like, what do you call it, lantern? <sighs> we were like in tempo and all kind of things. So, I, I don't know. So, I, I so let me ask you a question. It is now the 14th of September. Can we get back to our box? 2018. Hold <laughs> well, on. It is now, it is, yes, we're, we're going to do that. It is now the 14th of September 2018, right? <laughs> right? Is this the first time your mother is hearing about this? Um, mom, mama? <laughs> <laughs> it's important, you know. 
I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I don't know sure that I had a fight. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I'd have to text her and tell her about tell her later or next 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 week if she knew about the uh, fight. I don't think she knew about the book. No, she wasn't supposed to know about the book. She <laughs> can't know about the book. I mean, no problem. She know about the book. I like said tell you. And then when I got, for example, stung by a bee or a wasp up in a cherry no, tree no, after no, school, no, 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 I couldn't no, no. tell her about it no, either. Well, no, we're not get we're, we're talk about the book. Because no, you see, I don't think you know about that book. All right, let me share this. I should tell me don't borrow no more book. All right, and stuff like that. Don't borrow people things. But your finger, mm-hmm. you swear get bite pan mm-hmm. from early up. Me realize your finger fear it. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. No, and that's why, I will not and that's that why, finger and that's why I get bite by your finger. Right? You see, you see, you see, if you get thump in your eye, I see you see too much. You get thump in your mouth, I chat your chat too much. So you get so bite by get your bite finger. Her, yeah, she get she ear too much. <laughs> ear too much. <laughs> I'm too fast. <laughs> I'm too fast. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> because in no. the boots in front of your friend, in too fast. And you get <laughs> bite by your finger, because you love tech people you things. You know what? Let me go back to the box for this, because I'm going to twist me tonight, and I'm not allowing him to. Cleo will get the beat up. I Cleo get the beat up. No, we, we, the fight draw. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, for the most part, some parents cause their children to behave the way they do. From early out, you gotta set your foot down on certain things and mm-hmm. let them know where your stance is. And when they, if you don't wanna, you don't, you don't have to admit, uh, administer corporal punishment if you don't choose to. Yeah? But of course, the book, good, book, good book tells us don't spoil the run and save the child. Now, if you wanna have, there are so many other things you can use. You can use positive reinforcement don't spare to get the certain, rod. And spoil the child. And spoil the child. It's not spoil the rod and what spare did I the child. Say? You said spoil the rod. <laughs> Don't yeah. spare the rod and spoil and the child. Spoil the child. Right? You have positive reinforcement in, as opposed to negative reinforcement. So do uh, uh, d- take things away from them that they really like. Let them not have access to certain things. And put your foot down and say, look, I am not doing X because you didn't do Y. And before you make the decisions, strike it with them. Before you act out, say, listen, when you do so and so and so, what should be the consequence? Let them discuss it with you. And when they go against what you've said, then you administer. Because I tell my kids, I warn you before I have to punish you. Right? So I think that's one of the things that parents need to do. Stop friendly with them. Stop by them. Stop compete with mother and father. Mother and father compete for the putting them love mother, mother more or father more. So you're spoiling because ain't father too strict, so me I got spoil him. Or the mother too strict, so me father got spoil. Don't no matter with that. True. Rubbish. Right? Be, be a parent first, then be, be friend after. Friends after. So the are, second. Are, are no friend them none at all. None at all. Worse when you see all them beef, when them be a certain way, yeah, no matter friend them none at all. Right? If you were to compare the home versus the school, where do you think a child adopts most of his or her behavioral practices? School. From? Leave us alone. School. Home. School. Home. Uh, and I'm going to invite persons I'm going right to invite now. persons to text right us now. School. and to tell us where these children's behavioral um, adaptation comes from. Where mostly? Is it the home or is it school? School. Because I'm telling you, it is not the school. It's the school. And, and, and who do you and, blame I, in this? Because there are so many factors of the school. You have the school administrators. Mm. You have the teachers. You have the, their peers. Mm. You have the wider community. Yeah. So who, as it relates to, if you're blaming school, yes, which, which aspect I am. of school are you blaming? As far as I am concerned, it is the teacher. She's um I have an empty buckle here. <laughs> Why are you blaming teacher? Eh? Me a teacher. You're gonna blame me yes. for a child's behavioral practices. The bad ones are the good ones, by the way. I'm talking about which ones? Every aspect, no double standard. Right? So uh, let's go with bad behavior first. Yeah, bad You're behavior. blaming school over over home for bad behavior. Yes. Let's go to good behavior. Who are you blaming more? School for good behavior as opposed to home. No, that one, no. No, man, no, man, no, man. <laughs> no, I'm going to take you and I'll bring you to the studio door. Because oh, no. you are very, very biased right no, now. No, no, no. What, I'm going to answer it. Yes. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to answer, sir. I, I'm going to answer it. Answer, sir. Right. <clears throat> it, it is a mixture of both. 
<laughs> All right. So why wouldn't it be more or less of a mixture of both for the other one too? For the pitney bad behavior? Yes. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna say that, because factors, Maybe other say, variables yeah. are there. When the pitney left the yard, right? Even if the pitney grow in our environment of hostility, when the pitney reach our school, it's your responsibility. To do what? Eh? To do what? Listen. Make him or her no longer hostile when they already have internalized it from home? No, but you have a responsibility. To do what? Listen, what do you think guidance counselor did it for? Waiting people. How eh? many children can a guidance counselor reach on an average day? Stop talking. No, no, hold well on, the well on. Then, then hold well on. Then where take a walk for? You're telling me that guidance counselors in schools of three hundred and odd, yeah, thousand odd, yeah, are supposed to take every child. And every child have a problem. And every Most child have problem. Most of them do. Men have none. And some don't act out, some internalize it and, 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 and make it affect them inside. Listen. Yeah? And some give, show bad behavior. I'm saying to you that you see the pit the How can school. a guidance counselor, one to 200 and odd, 300 and odd, 1,000 odd, or two to 1,000 yes. odd, a pit how can that school. GC reach these kids? I mean, then where am I working for? Some don't even tell the GC what their problems are because them parents tell them if you have a gas, what tell teacher what me a yard, you see, I'll kill you. No. They do it. Well, Anna, man. Oh, when, my God. When, when the pitney go there, if the pitney go there with certain energy, it is now your responsibility to ensure that that child don't cause no, no kind of disruption within the school. Huh? No, no, if you love that pitney, if you go on, and act out. Oh my God. Right? You are neglecting the child and your responsibility for calical pay during summer when you not work. That me I talk about. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm listening to Daddy Road tonight. Then which part of Mr. Rang? Daddy Road, you cannot go around blaming teachers for a child acting up. Now let me let me clarify. No man, the question say no. The question say the pitney behavioral or in behave. Yes. Right? In practice, which part do you think him, him, him learn most of it from? Or home. adapt most of it from? Home. No, nah, man. Home. No. Nah. Home. Can't home. What he sees happening in the no. home. What he sees happening um, no. around the community in at near Oh, home. let me share this with you. Well, let me share this with you. Yeah, tell me, say, some of them people will end up being mm mm. At the yard? Yeah. No, nah, man. Societal. No, no little mm mm something now go on. In the said school business, that's so. You know, the little um, bar show man, so, so some little hijacking and ambushing and going there, mm -mm there. And the pitney, the pitney whole psyche. And no for, no, no for the, the administrators and others persons would have or ought to have been aware of these practices where take place. What are they doing about okay. it? How many of what them? What are they doing about it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. They don't know of it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Nah, Do man. they know of these cases? Hold on, man. Not ad address them? So, let me ask a question. How come we upon the outside? Know of some of these because things. I I I I don't know as facts, right? It is in the air. It's just about intelligence, you know. From you hear say boy, daddy would have plant up a, a, a plant up um much yard, stock of weed, stock of sensimania, growing a daddy root backyard. It's intelligence, you know. So what I'm saying about it is that say boy, you have certain school where stigma is associated with. Right, I'm, 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 Right? And you get inoculated in a certain things. And you tell me, say, those behavioral practices are unknown to all the guidance counselor, to all the principal, the teacher. No, 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 no. I, and I can't accept Daddy that. Daddy Road. Oh, oh, how, how, how is it that you. Did, uh, by the way, did you know that there are things happening in schools that teachers are the last to know of? The whole school will know about it. The whole community might hear a case. And a teacher at the school... I know, got this people say that's, that, 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 yeah, that, so that, 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 um, thing that... The point I'm making is, things might be happening in an environment, a particular mm. school environment, where teachers don't know about. Listen what I said to you. Teachers don't know about it. Listen what I said to you. And when they do find out certain things, they have no proof, no evidence what, of it. What do they do? What is the protection? They can't punish. They can't right, well, beat. They can't right. at all. All right, well, on. listen. 
I know so you know you, you know work at one of them school there eh, where, 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 where certain stigma is associated with. But I and I would like to ask and try to find out, being that the stigma is there, what are some of the things that these administrators are doing to protect the vulnerable ones that will left them yard? The vulnerable ones. You right? See? Because is when when them left them yard, you know, the parent and they go to the school gate. How much time parent go to school and a little bit late and them and the parent can't go in the can't walk them picnic go to class. Can't, can't hey, it is important to the parents I want to hear this now. For the walk on the picnic go to school early and make up all in the face when they had to pick them in there and make them, <laughs> say, make them say you know skin teeth and rap with nobody, no. you know. No. It that is important. That is so when them say no. you're a picnic, you know. Them, if they're never afraid of your picnic, they're afraid of you as a mom or the papa. That may make a note. road. Oh, yeah. As as <laughs> as eight seven eight is agreeing with some of what you're saying. No, I understand where you're going. At the same time, school is a place of socialization, just as all the home is, right? And the school has so many different people of so many different walks of life, different mm. background, different status, different everything. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it is for a parent to work in unison with the school administrators and to teach their children certain things. So when they come out into this wider society, which is the mm. school environment, they understand that, look, these are the principles that I was raised on. These are the principles that I am, I am, I was taught. Yes. So guess what? I am going to steer myself this particular way because when these same children get older and leave the school and go out there in the next bigger society, which is society mm. by at large, what's yeah. going to happen to them then? Will there be their mother there behind them, pee pee clock clock, saying, "Oh, don't do this." Don't. They are going to come across all kind of people again in that work world. Let me tell you something. So yeah. how will they function? They have to understand from, in, at sc from school, from primary school, from even younger. This, I have to know myself. I have my own identity. Don't be a follower. You need to learn to lead by example. Dare to be different. Stop follow people. Stop joining the wrong crowd. The kids of today, many of them follow too much. They not lead. So even though they come from a godly home, a godly home, for example, where parents pray and teach them certain values and certain principles, when they go out there, guess what happened to them? Guess what them get wayward? They expose. Them, not only that, them follow crowd, the bad company too much. Them not have them own individual identity but and know who question. they are. Max, a question. So, now that you as a teacher know about a bad company, what are you doing when, 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 when me let go my youth in there, sir? What are you doing to protect my youth? You know, so them boys over there are bad company. The teacher, what you are doing? I do eh? the best. Right now, I the school can. turn the behavioral no, pattern, pa pattern, no. pattern go on the most. I teach them the class on a whole, the general populace, when we get them at general devotions, when we get them at gender, because we have gender devotion to one, one day per week. And we teach what is them. That? Boys, all the boys and all mm. the girls separately some one day. So and hold on, hold on, hold on. We have the gender devotion. So so we wanna preach say, at, at devotion with with, with be a boy pitney and, and or be mean? a girl pitney. What do you mean? Eh? We tell the girls there are certain things that certain things that they should do, how they should conduct themselves, how they should walk, certain the personal things we might tell the girls generally. We don't wanna mm. want the boys to be there for, for everything. Mm. And vice versa. We let the boys know that, look, you're young men. You're going to become young men. You have to set yourself a certain way. And but you mentioned stands. the word devotion. I think it's a different yes, type no, of, man. Different it's type just of that we prayer have. when I pray for the boy, I'm a different prayer for the girl. <laughs> I, I, no, uh, it's, I, I, that may I pray. So, so, so I think, I honestly think that while it is at the school, some things happen sometimes in the schools that are negative experiences for some children. Mm. It is still the reality that a teacher so after you corrupt my well, teacher, after after after, 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 after you corrupt after my picnic no you were on the school and the we classroom we are saying to the children eh? don't speak me that send my picnic to school no, 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 no. right me, not me, me pay my school fee and send my picnic to school see and we you say, corrupt my picnic and send him back and give me an evening time no. you try to take that well, and try to go for your yard when we are saying to you we don't want that again when we are saying and that me send to you when we are saying to you look do not speak this way in class, children. Yeah. Do not do this action in class. When they go home, the same parents in the room cussing up, stringing up each other. 
the same music in the house turn up loud playing the no, rod cha no, 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 unedited no, songs. No, then no. when they come to school and them friends lick them and they never like it, they string them up the same way. So them pitney there where we are try curb and the kid them gonna yaga turn them in a virega and send them to us every morning five days a week no. from September back to July. Can't Almost do with them. Can't Almost do with them. Change them. Where take you walk for? Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm gonna break it. Uh-uh. Let's get one of the box pop, please. <laughs> <laughs> So when I see kids being disrespectful, the first thing that comes to mind is that their parents cannot be from um, a Caribbean island, right? Because to me, no parent from the island allows their kid to be disrespectful or talk back to them. Then second, I'm like, you should be really glad that you don't have my mother because you would have been slapped a long time ago. But I think really, really, it's really that I just think it goes back to the culture and I automatically think like, um, okay, for example, in America, you see a kid like throwing a tantrum in a store because they're not getting a candy. My first perception is, oh, okay, they're probably just, you know, full black American, like a Caribbean child, you already know. You throw a tantrum, you're getting um, spanked on top of it, pretty much. So we already know we're not going to do that. Um, in regards to where I think like kids get the most or adopt most of their behavior, I would say school because there's so many different personalities at school and then kids have to try, I think, more at school to find themselves and kind of fit in while at home. You already know what is expected of you, so that's going to be your personality at home. And I think in that way, it's kind of good and bad in that, um, kids who are you know exposed to like school environment and not homeschool you get to have um you're able to better code switch so to speak like for example you know you grow up and you know that in front of your friends you will talk patwa but when you go to work you will talk like standard english so it's kind of learned that at home you act one way and then abroad you know you act a different way sometimes it's good but then sometimes it's bad it's bad but kids definitely learn i think most of their behaviors and attitudes at school um best way to discipline a child um i know other persons are like oh no they're against um kids getting corporal punishment or stuff like that but hey i turned out pretty fine so i don't see anything wrong with it and the older i've gotten and you know spoken to some of my friends like we've all agreed that the few times or many other times that we have gotten um spanked or beaten or punishment like we can see now where it kind of helped to develop the persons that we are today like you know we weren't just left loose to do what we wanted to do because we knew what the repercussions would be so because of that we stayed in line and we followed what we're supposed to do and you know here we are today um still doing what we're supposed to do and still not a trouble so i definitely think discipline kids sometimes do need um that little spanking to be kept in line because the the punishment and the, the time out and um go to your room i don't think that helps that does nothing um but if you know that your mom said don't go down the road and you go down the road you get a spanking the first time the second time regardless your friend, your father, whosoever call you to come down the road, you're not going to go because you remember what happened the first time. But if there's a case where, oh, my mom's just going to give me time out or I'm just going to get my phone taken away, nothing comes from that. There's no repercussion. There's, there, you know, there's no intimidation, so to speak. I'm not trying to say you should intimidate your child. <laughs> the time Real is talk. now 10 o- uh, 11 o'clock. It's brought to you by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. 
Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Clifford Guest House. Sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show. Interesting. Um, the voice says, Daddy Rude, with the daddy, them are in charge of the good behavior. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Some daddies, a few daddies are in charge of that. Yeah. Let's see what eight, seven. Okay, we got this one first. Blessings, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Kareem, pick up yourself. When my mama used to drench, okay, but the herb thing, mostly school, got that back for me, please. The, yeah, the, the, the peer part. Okay, yes, mostly school, yeah, the peer. The, the, the bad, the bad okay, behavior. the peers that they have. Right. All right, thank you so much, Cree. Um, Go back to, let's see. Shanice in Davi says, school, peer pressure. Yep, see? Um, Kadian, no, I don't see anything. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night to you, Katie. And how are you, Mama? Taria says, Clear a home need to help your fight. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Um, <clears throat> all right. So we see Sadie. What's, what's Sadie saying? We've got that one already. Got, got those already. Talk truth, Mama. Coming from Sadie in York Castle, St. Anne. All right. I saw them grow them. Um, based on the first part of the questions, question rather. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anything from Marcia? Marcia says, uh, it's okay. Spoiled by parents, she says. Play with puppy and lick your mouth. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Real talk. Indeed, definitely. And let's see what Nella's saying. Nella wants to know who get beat up. The, the fight, draw my girl. Yeah? <laughs> All right, hey. we got one from the guy there, you know. What, what do you eight seven, say? Yeah, 878. Got that one already. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Robert. Boy, I told... Boy, I told them, Robert, from St. Mary. From Saint Mary. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, what do you know? Me, said to mom, said, boy, listen. See, some I don't know. It's them tablet and then watch TV, TV business uh, that over and you know? so when a when little bit come home she have to deal with some some reading or something so 
I see one of the evening now, because she's very picky with, with what she eat, like most kids. And she eat, well, supposed to have dinner, right? And I see the tablet in front of her and the plate push her, but she eat. <laughs> you know what I do? Mm -hmm. I take away the tablet for them and I say, listen to me, no tablet <laughs> until weekend only. Mm -hmm. And he said, make up in face, I say, Maya, let me tell you, tell you this. If you go on the same way, it's going to be till December. <laughs> so make up your mind where you deal with. That's not too strict. No. Okay. Because I didn't want to know if I show him I eat. I have the tablet <laughs> in front of <laughs> him. Because that's spawning. You know. mm -hmm. To me, the tablet more important than the food. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking away your man. <laughs> and the good thing about it, it put down and she do not touch it. I mean, I hide it or nothing. So, for me, me thinks the parents have to just drop them foot pants. So, sometimes I have some simple something, you know. Mm -hmm. Where you never have to vex about. You, mm -hmm. you, you just create an energy. Can't enough time you complain to Karen about me still, you know. <laughs> 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 but, I do it deliberately because I don't really want that time to come where them get a little bit too comfortable and too familiar. Me, you know what they look? Feel like a puny look, now nah, I do pity nothing. Does it work again? You see me? Really? Nowadays, it now nah, it nah, go help. But for me, me just have the strong feeling that majority of the behavior where kids have is as a result of learning it from school. Peers, definitely. Right? I hear you. And when, 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 when your people come home with some argument, you have to wonder oh, where they get it from. <laughs> right? And uh, you, and uh, you bring that to them. So even the people is a miserable people and have a certain um, attitude from home. So might kind of get out of hand because I, I go on to school, because they mix up with probably other people then with them with, with their parents, you know, now no control over them either. But all right. Oh, you think people learn how to lie? At school? What do you mean? <laughs> you think people learn to lie a yard? Oh, my goodness. Why do you all make it look that way? As if the school is an environment that promotes that me, kind me, of, of thing. Of course. Me, me tell no, it doesn't. Yes. The school is well the on. place where all of these well children on. Well on. and God knows what else some of them well might be on, come bit. to you no, no, and no. you well are on. not even fully equipped to deal with some of the personalities, the attitudes that are there. All right, well on. You guys put too much pressure and burden on teachers and you all don't want to pay the teachers. I know we, I know we employ you or we pay you for. Oi. This is what I said to you. Boycott certain things for us to get oh, good pay. Oh, many you all times. Need to hold on. Hold on. You ain't going to ride me tonight. You all need to boycott certain things I've and never, put your feet. I've, I've never done that. No. <laughs> no. You. Look no at my pun face. Intended. Look at my face. You are never no. <laughs> going to tell me that it's okay to expect a teacher. A, and for the most part, there is not a teacher in Jamaica, is for the most part, who on. has the right ratio of student to teacher. Hold on, fine. But, yeah? le, but, hold on, but let me say this to you. Is so, our, our teachers, in a public hold on, school, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll make we clear up something real quick. It's not a part of the topic, but basically you went there. Is the motivation money? Or That's not the point I'm making. No, it's important. No, it's not the point I'm making. No, no, it's it's a question. Is um our teachers' motivation? Look here, money? everybody's motivation is going to be money. No, to do means, anything at no, all. But that means in a word, if you are teaching so the point them, I'm making, then, I don't no, care what man. you want to say right no, now. No, man. The point I'm if, making is if you are is, speaking generally, the point are you I'm speaking for is, yourself or are you speaking point generally? I'm making because more have to say something. You, you know. can't pay us for one. More they can't pay something. us for one to do all that they expect us to do. That's a fact. No, man. And they can't no, provide no, the resources no. adequately enough for us to deal with certain things. And they can't provide the training enough for us to deal with the variety Hold of on. attitudes that we have coming to face us. God forbid some of these children who are 10, are 10 going on 100? Some of them have seen so many things at home that God he knows. Mm -hmm. When I hear some of the speech sometimes at school, I have to wonder where on God's green earth this people get this from because they know, come at school, come your teacher talk so. So where they get it from? Eh? 
Where they get it from? And the same way they have children at school to deal with, guess what? They have picnic in the yard and they neighbor picnic. I want to. And they neighbor picnic to deal with. Same way. I Come wanna, on, man. I Let's wanna, be fair. I want to talk about and prove to you that kids learn how to lie in school. The society at large is where it's from, not so much the school. They don't hear songs playing you know, one with thing, string up, string up, string up, string up you, in well, the Anna, schools. You, you know one thing, you know one thing probably 90% of the 98%, 99% of the population have in common? Tell me. They all went to school. Right? <laughs> Daddy <Right>. Rule, <laughs> well, you and I know that the well, school well, tries to so, make the environment so conducive to learning, for having kids, fun, how many for being kids, how many kids, wholesome, well, spiritual. I'm going to use, I'm going to use, on. I'm going to use your experience, right, as my audit sample, right? <laughs> how many kids or how many times you're writing on the board, your back is turned, and something happens, and you turn around, and you say, who did that? Mm -hmm. Right? Nobody answers. Right. What is that? They're afraid. They're afraid. What going to happen? And that is the first step towards what? But towards what? Learning of a lie. No. Right? No. Yeah, man. No. Yeah, man. And, and so guess what? They, 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 they are practically um, nurtured. Oh, please. To lie. What's wrong Ouch. with you? <laughs> the other morning. Um, How many of them? No. Mm -mm. There's a particular chair, for example, in my room that I've said, this chair, if you're not going to be reading, yeah, mm. you have your own chair at your seat. So you sit there. If you choose to go on in the reading area where the cushions are on this particular chair on a particular reading table, yeah. if you're going to go to that chair, you, you, you best be going to be reading. Okay. Okay, so I wasn't there because I was sent out. And, of course, them Ed Chip, some of them Ed Chip, and decided to go in this chair because it has wheels on it like, like a suitcase mm -hmm. that rolls. Okay. And they were pushing the, each other across the room. They are being innovative. They are being kids. Uh -huh. Innovative. And when I got, when I heard... A, a one child told her parent okay. that, boy, daddy, and the child isn't from my class, by the way. Yes. But I, the, the father and I are friends. Yes. So he saw me and he said, boy, teacher, so and so come home and tell me, say, yeah. them children in your classroom. That's what I feel my informal people. <laughs> <laughs> the, so the child from the other class went, went and told her dad yeah. how they tell her the classroom. And yeah. she knows that when I come. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The child from the other class who is not taught by you, right? No, no, not at the moment. Okay, and, and that child went home. And told her dad. Right, okay, that okay, okay. they told her in the classroom. And she knows that yes. when I come back tomorrow. Yes. I'm going to deal with them. Yeah. <laughs> she knows that. Yeah. So when I went in, I asked the question, who were the persons pushing the chair? Yes. Would you believe me that kids who were sitting in the chair, when they called a the name, the child said, no, miss, I wasn't pushing the chair. All right. They weren't pushing the I chair. I was. No, I wasn't pushing the chair. So you weren't pushing the chair? No, miss. No. And when I checked and checked, and coming back deep, you know. Yes. Miss, but it's still in the chair. Yes, that's not so like, You're right, 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 right. right. Start right. Said, yes, yes. You see it? Listen to me. See it? Whether you were pushing the chair, whether you were push, no, or, hold on, uh. no, hold on. I mean, I to whether you were answer. pushing or you were being pushed, whether you were the pusher or the pushy, who will pass my shop? <laughs> Just stand up. <laughs> so of course, says, look, one and two more start go up now because the few that were standing. Were the ones who were pushing the pushers, yes. So the pushies were sitting down, okay. So I had to make myself clear because they're smart. Now, let me know now. Say, okay, since I wasn't being pushed, me see if I would did a push, she asked, Who did I push the chair? Mm -hmm. So I had to get it out. So they are very, very smart and they will think of innovative ways of how to escape a situation. Should I go back to where I said, well, which part they learned for lying? No, 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 no. See, see, see you're, you're coming I, right back no, around to it. No, I didn't tell them so to lie. So they pick them. So, so parents, you pick they learn for life from out of clear class. <laughs> right? <laughs> she, 
mean, the sample. This is worldwide rated. Did you know, did you, did you know that? The sample. <laughs> I told you, your classroom was going to be used as an audit sample for all. <laughs> so, I proved it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> Uh, you know what, let's go to the other box button, please, because I'm not going to deal with this accusation. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, as a parent, I can actually, I can speak to s- sometimes. I'm going to answer the first one first. If I witness a child being disobedient and disrespectful, sometimes children tend to do things that they wouldn't normally do at home. They act out. I don't know if they are testing the boundaries, their, their parents' boundaries are what, but they act out when they go out because sometimes probably they think that, all right, they're going get, to get away with it. So they are being disrespectful. The children will do that, you know, and especially if you embarrass them, you know, they may do something just out of shame and pride and react in a way they would normally would have at home. So I wouldn't use that to judge a person's parenting skill. You know, I just say, boy, I probably should not raise the pitney right. But I have been out with a, with one of my friend's child and she wanted something. She and I went alone to the supermarket and she wanted something off the shelf and I told her, no. And she lay down on the floor and started screaming. And I walked away, leave her. She was in my sight, but I walked away and left her there. I didn't pay her any mind. And when she see that I was done cashing out and was about to, you know, I pretend like I was going to walk out, she ran up to me. And the crying stopped and everything. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to give a child any attention that they are seeking when they think that they're going to be disrespectful and disobedient and act up. You know, um, a child adopts uh most of their behavioral practices from whom because remember they would have been in their parents presence from birth to about two years old or one plus that's when we start to send them to school and um so no i would have to say there's a 50 50 chance that they'll take some from home but some from school because they spend half of their time during the day at school most of their time during the day at school and then when they come home they're they're basically ready for bed so school and their peers does play a very integral role on 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 their behavior they adapt a lot of it from seeing other people's children behave so one one year old they just start to understand stuff two year old yeah they're just beginning to get into the groove of absorbing things and that's when we send them to school so probably we need to not send them out to school so early will they be exposed to other person's behavior and norms and and probably keep them at home and train them the way or we think they want to go because that's the most i think they say were from homogeneous to most four year old or the, the absorbed stuff the most so probably that's what we need to do um in terms of where they adapt so i'm gonna take it back and i'm say school school is where they adapt a lot of things because i can tell you i've known children to come home with things that they wouldn't dare would have said and did at home if they were in their presence constantly best way to dis- discipline a disorderly child you know, I'm I'm into the old school still, you know, spanking. When I say abuse a child, I murder your pit name with lick. You know, but spanking and punishment and absolutely speak to your child. When you're speaking to them, speak to them as if um, you would be talking to another intelligent adult as yourself. You know, if you're going to punish them, you tell them what they did and the reason why you're punish them, punishing them. And you can also use examples as outcome as to if you do this, what can happen and what will happen if you do that or something. Don't just be the pit they are punished, the pit they are not say what it is you're punishing them for. You understand? Talk to them. I always say, disembark the information, fool them up with the knowledge so that whatever comes after they can say that they weren't told <laughs> oh boy indeed um let's go back um quickly to the um uh, vox pop and nova says she loving the vibes pick up yourself nova every time um the second part comparing the school to the home and while it is that i will agree that there are certain things that children get exposed to at school from other kids some kids who are utterly exposed already and some who are not 
might find that if they do lick heads with that one, then they start to hear certain things and get become aware of certain things that they wouldn't have known before. At the same time, too, hearing and learning information, they have to learn from their parents as well as their teachers how to decipher good from bad and what to do with certain information that they get and what not to do with it. Yes, they will be curious minds because they're at that stage where they are very curious. They have been born in the era when technology is like at its going to its places, yep. right? So they have this microchip in their brains where they learn so quickly and they learn certain things so quickly. When I hear the kids, I was at Folly at the pan chicken thing and this artist who, um, governor, whatever, yeah. And he came out and he was doing his thing on stage, his act on stage. And I heard the kids in the audience and I looked behind me. And as small as seven, eight, and as old as, um, say, probably 17, 18, they're about, they were just word for word with the songs. <laughs> yep. And it was fast. And I was trying to keep up with what he was saying. Yes. And I could have fathom what he was saying. <laughs> and the, the attitudes now for teachers in the classroom are different from back then. Back, back then. then was chalk and talk. Now we are using so many different ways to try to get knowledge across to them. And they're not getting it. But a man who sings a song which is going at the speed of how much in kilometers per hour with his words. Which one was it? They singing? catch on. Um, it's crazy. I, I him do the song, cast the one arm move. Yes, one arm move. Hey man, that was being sung too, so, so, and and they were singing it. Oh my goodness! And at points, can I tell you, it was alarming. It was frightening. They were singing the unedited version, loud as ever. Um, and there was one about butter is man, whatever butter is girl and whatever, whatever. What that mean? Eh? That mean like after you fight and bite them for them ears? No, no butter, no the butter is there. Kinaki girl. Okay. Jenna, 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 whatever. All I can remember is Jenna, Jenna, and butter is <laughs> in the song. Don't ask me nothing more. And if you think of other Jamaican artists, dancehall artists who sing certain things, I'm there saying, I know I'm not that old, but I don't know what he's saying. Yeah, I can't keep up with it. I can't. And I just had to, people were in the audience out by pan, and the older folks just literally stood there, mouths, some in awe, some closed, just stood there. Like they were waiting for that segment, to for pass. that trance to, to pass, pass, for them to come back to the real world. Mm -hmm. When, for example, Beanie Man came out and he did his act, yes, the older folks would have been singing those songs, but at the same time too, you can't hear the what you must say well, yeah. and understand the words that we must say. So, you know, it's just a different era we know. And I think that kids, if they can catch on to some of these songs, that it's a different way of bringing no, it across, no, yes. But, but yeah, if they can but, catch but, on but, to certain but, things but, so easily, but anything, why? I don't know. It's easier to catch, to, to catch on to things with melodies. Melo who? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say me some of melodies? <laughs> no, punchlines, yes. Punchlines are there, but... Some of it is just really outrageous. Some of it is um, inciting violence. Some of it is inciting bullism, um, ill treatment of the, the opposite sex, you know, stereotypical behavior. Come mm -hmm. on. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, Sherelle says, um, clear your classroom is setting the precedence. <laughs> Laugh out loud for lying. It's not. It's not because I tell my kids, listen, First up, me don't want a thief in here. I don't want a liar. Lion thief walk. So me don't want a liar in here. No thief. I ask you a question. Just come straight up and answer the question. <laughs> yeah? Don't but go around and go around and go around and tell a lie on the body. Or thief people things. Right? So I don't set that at all in my room. Daddy will just allow me in my class alone. <laughs> right? But seriously though, people, as a school, it's a very difficult thing. And that is why we need parents to get on board to help teachers. The good up, good up teachers out there who really want to help these kids. Right to become meaningful members of society. You parents have got to help us, right? And don't bother with 
If your girl's grunt she talk to you too hard, just tell her off and lick her back and lick him back. Yeah? And we know that we have taken out punishment out of the schools in terms of um, corporal punishment. Yes, we know that. But guess what? You parents, your parents will come and say, teacher, just spare the eye. Any oh, and in front of the child, miss any oh, she rude. Just discipline her how you used to fit, but just spare the eye. So and so and so and so. And these kids sometimes they act differently because the parents will come out and tell the teacher, listen, my man, teacher, are you dealing with them at daytime? Are you have half a day with a daytime? Deal with her how you feel deal with her. I'm not going to come up here and carry on. And, but the ones who depend on them know say, <laughs> if teachers say fe, too hard, she says, stand over there. They're coming up there to cuss teacher. Those are the kids that carry on so badly. We've seen it happen all the time. So it's not just a school alone, people, parents. It is a collaborative effort of everybody. Teacher alone cannot do it. 12 teachers, 13 teachers to 300 and odd kids every day, them alone cannot man it. We have to get the parents on board. Real talk. How do we discipline the kids? Cassidy, let's see what that part of it says, the last part of it. How do you discipline? In your opinion, what's the best way you would discipline a disorderly child? Massa, as Shell say, me na spoil the picnic and spin a rod. Me a clap in my butt, butt. Clap hands for Guan. Punishment for Guan. Yeah? And my ultimate punishment. If I had a child who decides to behave a certain way, clap him butt and proper. Just find the fat part with the flesh there and send on. When me talk, no dog bark. <laughs> if a question to ask, Ask the question. I've told my kids, kids, you can go to a teacher and say to the teacher, sir or miss, I don't think the situation was dealt with properly because you're not aware of certain, certain issues that took place prior to. Come to me respectfully and tell me what you're, because you have rights and you have, you have um, responsibilities as a child. And we also have the right to hear you. You understand? And to hear what you have to say and how you feel. My girl, you're only, but, a, you're, you're only, you're only but, talking in a perfect situation because no. we, we, we know we, we know how it thing when you know the whole of pressure and the stress by the teacher them. Sometimes we don't even to to want to come to school and teach we, you know. <laughs> like you, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I give my kids the opportunity to be open with me, but just you. be respectful about it. After uh, uh, after you're done, cuss and go on, but you're still and you're still in the heat at the moment. Me, if you come to come tell us, say boy, you know, say make a wrong move. No yeah. man, no man, you, you can tell me, just be respectful about it. Because when you're rude and out of line, I'm going to tell you straight up. And when you're good and all right and nice, I'm going to give you the thumbs up and big you up and load you up same way. So, so when, I, when, so, me, so, so. when me slip, say, miss, miss, I'm like, what you with that situation? They're tall, miss. I say, why not? Tell me why. Uh, miss, did you know that last week? Tom Stroke did so and so and so, and then that is what caused so and so and so. Then I would say, oh, well, I didn't know that. But I can tell my kids can sorry I, if I, if I wrong them. Is it, is, it, is it okay then if a child comes to you and says, boy, Miss, Miss, you say you're upset. You look like you get a one hand move. <laughs> <laughs> look here. Eh? No, oh, son. Oh, you're like, eh? No, uh, I, I don't know. Eh, I don't know. Eh, that, that, that's not being rude. <sighs> no, but it's out of line. It's it's inappropriate. But I've but, had kids but, but, say in but, class. But, but based off of how you look and your behavior, oh, I mean, Jesus, you, you, you I've watched. Like you're, you're a victim of a I one and move. Leave me alone. Uh, I miss, showed. <laughs> miss, 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 like, look this I showed a video <laughs> last week, and the kids, <laughs> the last year rather, and it was about the, urin the urinary, um, track like the excretory system. Yeah. And the little thing was talking about urinating and oh I gotta go pee and blah 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 and, and they were all attentive. And at the end of the video, this is a boy, he's a little troublemaker. Miss, more, miss, miss, can I go on urinate? Because I keep on saying, use the words, you know, urinate and so on. Mm -hmm. Miss, we can't go urinate. Mr. Boss, hold it. Can we soon finish? Hold it. And he was like, Miss, we can't hold it. Because <laughs> it's a song that speaks to can't hold it. <laughs> And I looked at him, and the class started laughing. And I was like, you try all it. 
You know? I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was rude. Yes. He was just playing with the with words, words. Right, yes. with the words. You can't make it hold it. Yes. So in that way, as you say, I, I don't think, depending on how they do it, yes. that I would see it as rude. You understand? So, well, um, but punishment for me, uh, beatings, I, trappings. I think I... Well, it's now 11.31. We're going to a break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We, when we come back, we close off with the Vox Pop. And we have a really nice article, or probably part thereof, of an article to read for you during the last half an hour. Really interesting article. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Remember Styles FM on social media View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961 Become a fan on Facebook Styles FM 96.1 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399 To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. Oh, 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 yeah. I the reggae ambassador. Hey. This is Jatty, the reggae ambassador. Join me this on every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that g spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This is every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back, guys, to the final few minutes of Real Talk, a very, very different kind of show tonight where we talk about the kids out there. And thanks so much to all our participants of the Vox Pop. We appreciate it every single time and keep it coming in every time we give these to you, all right? We really, really anticipate and appreciate your feedback. Now we go to our article that we are going to utilize to close the show tonight. It says, 56 little known facts about human trafficking. No, this is a very, very serious issue. Yep. And in case you're wondering what we're talking about, this is where people are taken from home. Yep. Um, they become immigrants, and they're taken away to different countries for all kinds of reasoning. Or place within the same country. Or, right, or places within the same country, and they are used as sex slaves. Or workers. Or sex workers. No, or um, pretty much, the, the, I think the essence is they, are, they have become slaves. Right. You know, um, it's a very sensitive um, t- uh, area. And one of these days, we're going to see how best we can probably have an uh, officer of the police force to tell us what our statistics look like in Jamaica. Because to my understanding, um, it's, increasing. It's, it's a very delicate, very, very delicate situation. And probably some persons aren't aware that they are victims of human trafficking. You know, persons who are promised jobs 
um, <coughs> and, and, and parents, yeah, lots of money. Parents, parents who are asked to allow their kids to come to from one location to another location for work, right? Even if, even if the trade is going on and, and person is being paid, probably it's not the child who is being paid, but it's the parent who is being paid. It is still human or a form of human trafficking, right? So I, I'd, like for, I'd like to crave your indulgence in spending the time to listen to some of these because some of them are really a bit unusual, but it is still uh, human trafficking. Um, just before we continue, would you say to take away, to, 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 you to, to um, get, take their organs, what would you call that one? Yeah, man. Uh, hey. Could they take these organs and they sell them? Yeah, man. They a whole throw people a, away a, and a, just a, a, it, It's um, kidnapping. Um, sometimes there, there are horror stories of persons actually not even knowing what had occurred, mm -hmm. what happened, because they, they, mm -hmm. they were sedated. Yes. And uh, the surgery, the surgery gone. Done. And pretty much sewn up back. Yeah. And then oh my God. probably sent on their merry way. Ooh. It you know, sounds so, surreal, so doesn't not, it? not even know, say, boy, you have a missing kidney. Yeah, it sounds surreal. Yeah. Jesus. Whew. Oh my God. That gives me the... Chills. Chills to read this one more, yeah? Um, ten tragic facts about human trafficking. Tragic facts about human trafficking. Number one, nearly 80% of human trafficking is for sex and 19% is for labor exploitation. All right. They get you, they use you, they work you, work you, work you, don't pay you none. Yeah? Two, Researchers note that sex trafficking plays a major role in the spread of HIV, but naturally, mm -mm. naturally it would. Because here you are just flinging people all over the place yeah. to have sex with every and anybody, and the anyone. IS bidder and stuff like that, who wishes to pay, right? Uh, three, there are more human slaves in the world today than ever before in history. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. You know how many people persons were enslaved back in the 18th century and all that, taken mm -hmm. from Africa and all about the prison enslaved. Are you talking about it being more now? More now. Because, because some Ooh. of what we probably not realize or recognize of it's being um, um, slavery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four, there are an estimated 27 million adults and 13 million children around the world who are victims of human trafficking. Hmm. Five, human traffickers often use a s s uh, Sudanese, Sudanese phrase, use a slave to catch slaves. Hmm. Oh, my God. Meaning, traffickers send broken-in girls to recruit younger girls into the sex trade. Sex traffickers often train girls themselves, raping them and teaching them sex acts. I want parents to listen and pass on this information, you know? Yep. So when you see certain people becoming friends and they relating to certain girls a certain way, and not, you know, certain females a certain way, you have to be careful, right? Number six. Human trafficking not only involves sex and labor, but people are also trafficked for organ harvesting. All right. Yep. Oh. And um, not, not, not to um, belabor the point, but we must also be aware of the possibility of some of these promises for work overseas. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it, 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 it would be look it would look all kind of it, it some of them looks too good to be true. Yep. They're a form of luring, you know, for human trafficking. So not for we will say boy, we'll get a job overseas and we see this advertisement. Be careful. Real talk. Number oh seven. Eighty percent of North Koreans who escape into China are women. Nine out of ten of these women become victims of human trafficking. What? <clears throat> often for sex. Ooh, and their sex drive can be so high. Uh. If the woman complain, they are deported back to North Korea, where they are thrown into <clears throat> gulags or are executed. Are, are you serious? <laughs> oh, my goodness. An estimated 30... 
thousand victims of sex trafficking die each year from abuse, disease, torture, and neglect. How much? 30,000? 30, 30,000 victims. Wow. 80% of those sold into sex slavery are under 24 years old. 80%. And some are as young as 16 years old. Does this get any worse? Mm -hmm. Does it? Ludwig Tarzan Feinberg, a convicted trafficker, said, You can buy a woman for $10,000 and make your money back in a week if she's pretty and young. Then everything else is profit. Deliver me, Jesus. <clears throat> 10. A human trafficker can earn 20 times what he or she paid for a girl, provided the girl was not physically brutalized to the point of ruining her beauty. The pimp could sell her again for a greater price because he had trained her and broken her spirit which saves future buyers the hustle. A 2003 study wow. in the Netherlands found that, on average, a single sex slave earned her pimp at least 250000 a year. What? Whew. 11. Although human trafficking is often a hidden crime and accurate statistics are difficult to obtain, researchers estimate that more than 80% of trafficking victims are female. Over 50% of human trafficking victims are children. Hmm. Parents, be careful where you send your children, yep. who you send them to, and where you send them. Right? Oh, my God. 12. The end of the Cold War has resulted in the growth of regional conflicts and the decline of borders. Many rebel groups turn to human trafficking to fund military actions and garner soldiers. Wow. Oh, my God. According to a 2009 Washington Times article, the Taliban buys children as young as seven years old to act as suicide bombers the price for child suicide bombers is between seven thousand to fourteen thousand dollars what in the name of jesus unicef estimates that thirty thousand children younger than 18 are currently trafficked to serve in armed conflicts worldwide imagine you see a 12 year old with a gun yeah a pump or m16 oh my god the Western, more than 30,000 of all trafficking cases in 2007-2008 involved children being sold into the sex industry. Hmm. The Western presence of Kosovo, Koso, Koso, Kosovo, Kos, Kosovo, Kosovo, oh God, that's hard to call, such as NATO troops and civilians have fueled the rapid growth of sex trafficking and forced prostitution. Amnesty International has reported that NATO soldiers, UN police, and Western aid workers operated with a near impunity in exploiting the victims of sex traffickers. Mm -hmm. Lady Gaga's Bad Romance, that's a song by the way, video is about human trafficking. In the video, Gaga is trafficked by a Russian bathhouse into sex slavery. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> 18. Human trafficking is the only area of transnational crime in which women are significantly represented as victims, as perpetrators, and as activists fighting this crime. No wonder. Yep. Global warming and severe natural disasters have left millions homeless and impoverished, which has created Desperate people, easily exploited by human traffickers. Yeah. So people who are, don't have any homes, and some of the come to them and offer them a job, they quickly think, okay, yeah. Opportunity. Yeah, and if my economy is not growing and I'm, you know, yes. impoverished, let me get this opportunity. you got to be careful. Over 71% of trafficked children show suicidal tendencies. Of course, these experiences can't get things positively. Uh, yeah, well, trauma. That one. Trauma. 
21 says, after sex, the most common form of human trafficking is forced labor. Researchers argue that as the economic crisis deepens, the number of people trafficked for forced labor will increase. Hmm. My God Almighty. Most human trafficking in the U.S. occurs in New York, California, and Florida. What? According to the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, over the past 30 years, over 30 million children have been sexually exploited through human trafficking. This article is giving me a serious migraine. One of the best articles you've ever, you've ever read? And the worst. <laughs> Sex traffickers often recruit children because not only are children more unsuspecting and vulnerable than adults, but there is also a high market demand for young victims. Traffickers target victims on the phone, on the internet, here? through friends at the mall and in after-school programs. After school programs, you hear that part? Eh? Just be quiet right now. <laughs> Several countries rank high as source countries for human trafficking, including Belarus. That's the name, right? Yes. Belarus. I got that one. The Republic of Moldova, the Russian Federation, Ukraine, Albania, Bulgaria, Lith Lith Lithuania. Lith What's wrong with me in these two words? Lithuania. Lithio. Lithuania, yeah. <laughs> Romania, China, Thailand, and Nigeria. God, the African country had to be in there. <laughs> oh, Belgium, Germany, Greece, Israel, Italy, Japan, and the, Nether the Netherlands, Thailand, Turkey, and the U.S. are ranked very high as destination countries of trafficked victims deliverance. Women are trafficked to the U.S. largely to work in the sex industry, including strip clubs, peep, peep and touch shows, mm -hmm. massage parlors that offer sexual services and prostitution. Wow. They are also trafficked to work in sweat hops, sweat, sorry, sweat shops, domestic serv servitude, and agricultural work. Sex traffickers use a variety of ways to condition their victims, including subjecting them to starvation. Lord of his mercy. They have to eat. They have to eat for survive. They have to eat for survive. Mm -hmm. Rape. Gang rape. Oh, God. Physical abuse. Beating. Confinement. Threats of violence toward the victim and the victim's family. Forced drug use and shame. It's what they use to get mm -hmm. them to comply. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. Abuse at its, at its highest. Ah. <clears throat> family members will often sell children deliverance, Jesus, and other family members into slavery. Can you imagine? Yes. The younger the victim, then, then, the then, more money then the trafficker then, receives. Then how you how your end up a spend 10 grand. I must have to sell the yeah. picnic, you know. And that makes me wonder. Many times we hear of kids missing, missing in Jamaica. Right. This small, small dot on okay. the map, right? Yes, so. And they can't be found. Yes, sometimes somebody put them kind of rude and gone off with boyfriend and whatever. But not many of the cases, I don't think it is. If they even go off with the boyfriend, sometimes they go off and they come back. They go island to them thing and come back. Come when they're putting them gone missing for weeks upon the, and years, you don't know them there. Come on. These things, we have to look into it. Because money is, the, the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah? So family members often sell the picnic to them. The younger the victim, more money. For example, a 10-year-old named Jita was sold into a brothel by her aunt. And a brothel is a, is a place where they have these girls and people come in and pay the money and sex them off and drug them off and all these things. Hmm. Am I right? I don't know, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know enough. No. <laughs> You're the teacher. I tell you, I watch the movies and I learn things. Okay. The now 22 year old recalls that when she refused to pay the money, the brothel owner threatened to sell her. The now 22-year-old recalls that when she refused to work, the older girls held her down and stuck a piece of cloth in her mouth so no one would hear her scream as she was raped by a customer. Mm -mm. She would later contract HIV. Uh oh. Mm. Human trafficking is one of the fastest growing criminal enterprises because it holds relatives low, 
risk with high profit potential. It holds relatively low, low risk, risk with high profit potential. Criminal organizations are increasingly attracted to human trafficking because unlike drugs, humans can be sold repeatedly. Oh my God. Human trafficking is estimated to surpass the drug trade in less than five years. What? And the drug trade normal, you know? Exactly that, I pray. Journalist Victor Malarek reports that it is primarily men who are driving human trafficking, hmm. specifically trafficking for sex. Boy, may I tell you, the Lord must be so displeased. Because the, um, the, the customer base is there. Mm. Yeah, so, um, the demand is there from men, so <laughs> the, the men them who engage in the trafficking now have a a market mm -hmm. to supply, mm -hmm. supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You watch the movie. Interesting. Even, you watch the movie even Taken. There are so many movies that they have made that gives you an an an, an idea into what happening. is happening. People go on vacation, girls go on girls trips, and they go missing. I ain't them not come back, yeah. Oh my goodness, um, this is one of the fastest growing criminal enterprises. Right, and criminal organizations are increasingly attracting attracted to human trafficking because of our well, drugs is not as you know catchy as the fact that humans can be resold. When you sell the drugs, it's just done. Human trafficking is estimated to surpass. We've got that one already. Victims of human trafficking suffer devastating physical and psychological harm. Yes. However, due to language barriers, lack of knowledge about available services, and the frequency with which traffickers move victims, human trafficking victims and their perpetrators are difficult to catch up. But of course... I, 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 all these countries, I'd, 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 I'd really like to have the opportunity to um, interview yeah. a victim. You know, I'd really like to have the opportunity to interview. And I'd, it has to be a, a supervised interview in the sense that a, a psychologist, you know, someone who would probably know how to best ask the questions or interpret the answers, you know, to be here mm -hmm. and be a part of of um of of that oh interview. God. This is uh. in approximately fifty four percent of human trafficking cases, the recruiter is a stranger, and in forty six percent the cases. Of the cases, the recruiters are known know the victim. Fifty-two percent of human trafficking recruiters are men, forty-two percent are women, and six percent are both men and women. Human trafficking around. Well, oh, hold on, how do you mean both men and women? That means that, that means that you are trans. Probably so. Yeah. You, you, you can't be both men and women. That not, that not make no sense. Trans you, you, no, you can't be both. Am I No. Yeah, but you can't be both. Six percent of of traffickers are both men and women, and, and unless that means that it's a team. Yeah, I don't think that's what they're looking at. <laughs> Human trafficking around the globe is estimated to generate a profit of anywhere from nine billion Ooh, to thirty-one point six billion billion dollars. Half of these profits are made in industrialized countries. The countries where the workforce is, is strong. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of industries. Some human traffickers recruit handicapped young girls, oh God, such as those suffering from Down syndrome, into the sex industry. Serious? In the world, gone a star. Gone, gone, gone. According to the FBI, a large human trafficking organization in California in 2008 not only physically threatened threatened and beat girls as young as 12 to work as prostitutes. They also regularly threatened them with witchcraft. Then tell me something. The, the feds and the authorities, as you asked earlier about the school, knowing about what's happening, they don't know about, they don't have any intel as to how to catch up with these people? I think they do. Um, but it's bigger than they are? Well, with a... With a, with a um, 
what would them say? 11 to 30 something billion dollar. <laughs> oh my god. Industry. That is almost get paid get pay out. That 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 oh. that that is a Ooh. a GDP mm. um contributor um significant in some countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Human trafficking is a global phenomenon that is fueled by poverty and gender discrimination. Hmm. Human traffickers often work with corrupt government officials, you just alluded, alluded <laughs> to obtain travel documents and seize passports. Seize passports. Mm -hmm. Women and girls from racial minorities in the U.S. are disproportionately recruited by sex traffickers in the U.S. So, probably if you're black. Yeah, well, the one's minority. Oh. I guess um, how they look at it, it, it might be associated with, with poverty. Poverty, definitely. The Sunday Telegraph in the UK reports that hundreds of children as young as six are brought to the UK as slaves each year. What is going on? These things are alarming me. Japan is considered the largest market for Asian women trafficked for sex. Japan. Oh, God. He's Japanese, man. Go build some cars, man. Airports are often used by human traffickers to hold slave auctions where women and children are sold into prostitution. Jesus. The airport. Human traffickers are increasingly trafficking pregnant women. Lord Jesus. Pregnant women for their newborns. Babies are sold on the black market where the profit is divided between the traffickers, doctors, lawyers, border of officials, and others. The mother is usually paid less than what is promised her, citing the cost of travel and creating false documents. A mother might receive as little as a few hundred dollars for her baby. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, my or maybe it's by force too. Could be. Due to globalization, every continent of the world has been involved in human trafficking, including a country as small as Iceland. Many times it is a sex slave. It if a sex slave is arrested, she is imprisoned while her trafficker is able to buy his way out of trouble. Of course, can you have the money? Yeah. Money talk and you know what works. Today, slaves are cheaper than they have ever been in history. The population, ex population explosion has created a great supply of workers, and globalization has created people who are vulnerable and easily enslaved. Mm -hmm. Human trafficking and smuggling are similar but not interchangeable. Smuggling is transportation-based. Trafficking is exploitation-based. Wow. Human trafficking has been reported in all 50 states, Washington, D.C., and in, and in some U.S. territories. The FBI estimates that over 100,000 children and young women are trafficked in America today. They, they range in age from 9 to 19, with the average being age 11. Many victims are not just runaways or abandoned but are from good, quote-unquote, families who are co co coerced by clever traffickers. Yeah. And the last one for now, Brazil and Thailand are generally considered to have the worst child sex trafficking records. Wow. No, man. We do, we'll share the other six with you next week. <sighs> um, uh, we could let them know what... Yes, we, please um, go and read it again. Source. Yes, share the source with them, please, Daddy Rude, or should I? Okay. Be traumatized, but now I tell them. Um, all right, we're currently on a website See that is called factretriever.com. That's F-A-C-T-R-E-T-R-I-E-V-E-R.com. Factretriever.com, and this article is called um well you can find this article at um www.factretriever.com forward slash human dash trafficking dash facts 
and it's um, titled 56 Little Known Facts About Human Trafficking. You know, so, so, so there are a lot of things on it. We, we're going to find some articles in, this, in the next coming weeks to read for you. But this one is really deep. And as I said, human trafficking is something that's happening um, in our very little country here in Jamaica and in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. um, and I can tell you, um, some proprietors of certain adult lifestyle businesses um, are also have to be careful of the sources from which they get their entertainers, mm -hmm. right? And um, it's, 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 it's really sad. It's really, 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 really sad. Oh, God. Where's 12? Why it's taking so long? This is 12 o'clock, right? Okay. <laughs> it was painful to listen to, I know, right? Um, this scars my memory bank. Um, the fact is, it's my scar up. You can imagine me who had to read it. Um, we have, of course, I want to see what Road, Road something was saying there quickly before we close the show, guys. Um, Road Squad in Florida says, now the authority rules and regulations make it difficult for us to beat our, ki us, our kids, giving the kids more power than us, the parents and teachers. So true, so true, Road Squad. Sadie, eh? really sad. Mm -hmm. um, of course... Oh, you know, some of feeling pain about belly bottom, though. Seriously. Mm -hmm. um, someone says, children... Okay, the body parts black market business is booming. One kidney now costs 262000 Wow. Is that, is that US dollars? I guess so. The heart costs 119000 and liver costs 157000 mm -mm. Be aware of fake foreign agencies that promises work abroad. They produce... Process your pa papers, pay your ticket, and then take you aboard abroad, abroad in pretense that they want to get you a job there. But instead, when you get there, they kill you and harvest all valuable body parts. Let our children and grandchildren be aware of the devices of the devil by sharing. And I am... Mm, I am... Speechless. Speechless. And I tell you, um, whoo, okay. So guys, thanks so much. I am bewildered by this one. We have come to the end of the show though. And, um, we want to thank you for listening, for sharing. 